This is how we be the sisters. You ask me double eyes. But how about we be? Why waffle? Hacka hacka! Las Vegas, Nevada, May 31st through June 2nd. Join a bunch of juicy hogs, a bunch of Discord dorks, a bunch of pay pigs, a bunch of sad incels, a bunch of podcast nerds, a bunch of stupid puppets, a bunch of fat losers, a bunch of complete hacks. Join Nobody Likes Onions. Who are these podcasts? Tukey, Bedabler, Ray DeVito, Pat Dixon, Earl Skakel, and more for a weekend of stand-up and live podcast in Sin City. Get your tickets now at Hackamania.com and use promo code Tukey. We're doing it. What's that? Your dad's <laughs> shame? No, this was this was a present for my uh, godparents. This was a present for my godparents. So, yeah, I got a gold chain. Yeah. What happened to the chain your godparents got you? My godparents didn't get me a chain. I bought one at Macy's, and then this is the one that I got from, uh, yeah. My godparents did not buy me a chain. They did not, they did not buy me uh, a, a gold chain. I bought one at Macy's, which I still have. And uh, this is the one that my dad bought me when I graduated from Cleveland State with an MBA. I did have a Macy's gift card that my godparents got me. But no, I bought I bought the chain. But yeah, I did have a Macy's gift card that put $50 towards it. So so well, you, you are correct. That is like a in between. I did buy it and also I used the $50 gift certificate. So I have two gold chains. I have two gold chains since this is like a big fucking issue. So this gold chain, the one that my fucking dad bought me when I graduated from Cleveland State. This is the gold chain. This is, but when, um, So this was the necklace. So it all started because I was like asking my sister, I'm like, hey, can I get my gold chain that because uh, uh, that that dad bought me? I want to I, I want to wear it. I'm like, what are you talking about? There's no gold chain. Like, there's no gold chain that's yours. I'm like, yes, there is. You did not throw away a gold chain. There's obviously a gold chain. And my sister was like, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't I, I don't know. And I was like, like, we went through. We couldn't find it's like. The, 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 it's there. It's there. It's throw away a fucking gold chain. And then, uh, so my godparents were offering to get, but I had a Macy's gift certificate that's from them, and $50 of it I used towards this gold chain that I bought at Macy's, which is like $120 or whatever. Uh, this is just a dumb little gold chain. How much, where'd you buy it, and how much is it? It's from Macy's. It was two hundred dollars, <laughs> which is like one hundred and twenty dollars or whatever. So I bought that gold chain from Macy's. With so that's the confusion. People are like, did his dad give it to him or was? So yes, I have two of them. And then my sister did find it and like, oh, is this the one you're talking about? I'm like, yes, that is the one I was talking about. to the Tukey channel let us see what you can handle taking calls exposing the buffoons OJ Ralph and Tukey are the No, 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 no. I just wanted to just, you know, bury whatever hatch we have. Doodle, thanks for two bucks. Ignore the piazza pe potato. Don't play into his hand. I'm not. I'm done with the potato. Do you like the potato, Kate? 
no, I hate the potato, and I hate Tukey even more. Yeah, so do I. I do They're too. They're horrible, horrible individuals. So are you in? Uh, are you in Manhattan, or are you? Get your dumb ass up, cause it's time for you to soup. The taste is gonna move ya with OJ and Brown. The taste will make you lose it when you pop it in your mouth. Juicy soup is gonna move ya. This is a show, but it'll do ya. Juicy soup, the taste, the taste, the taste is gonna move ya. Yay! There's Tukey. This is fantastic. We are doing it. It's wonderful. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Tukey Soup. Episode uh, 32. 32. This is fantastic. Tukey sideways. I'm sideways. Really oh. have sold out, huh, sir? I have sold out. I have sold out. The merch store commercial was a little much, sir. I doubt my soul. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. I, I wanted to make stuff. sure that everyone knew we are full blown grift. It is now money before funny. Click the little QR code over there. You could do uh, super tips or super grifts, as we like to call it here. And we have a new voice. It's fantastic. You can now be the Opster. What's up, Father Muckers? It's the Opster dog, and I are so excited. <laughs> To finally be part of the grift. But don't make me talk about Opie and Anthony, okay? Get over it. Oh. Why do you yell at the end? The Opster. The Opster, which I did try to fix that. We think if you put O-P-E-S-T-E-R, that might work. Uh, Tuki tried to do it three times. And he spelled it the exact same way as he did it the original time. So I think Tukey's going insane. Isn't that literally the definition of going insane? Doing the uh, same thing over and retardation, over? Retardation, sir. Or retardation? Yeah, sir. Yes. They say it. They say that's the definition, but it's actually not. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, it's it's. Uh, I think it's pretty close. But uh, you know, we'll get it there. Who knows? It's fantastic. We're doing it. You can call in if you want to. Uh, what's our number? It's like eight. It's two key. One eight seven seven cars for kids. No, <laughs> y'all have to wait for the scroll. Eight six six five four three sixty eight fifty four. I should probably write that down somewhere. I was two just pulling it out of my phone. Sixty eight fifty four, sir. Two key sixty eight fifty four. Here's Penis Garrett. He wants to talk about guy stuff. And of course, it's all. Oh, Penis Garrett, are you there? Uh -oh. Hey, good, uh, good evening, Tukey. I just want to let you know the word of the day is gurney. All right, that's fantastic. Thank you. Word of the day is not gurney. I don't know what that means. Is that something? Did they get me? Did they finally get Tukey? Probably, sir. Uh, Lady Die. This is a treat. Lady Di, how are you? Hey, how's, every, how's it going? How are you? <laughs> I'm fantastic. You it's Di, Diana, Lady Di. I, I know. This is insane. What, hey, what are you? Come over, uh, come over to the studio. What did you want to do? Well, we used to come over to, uh, come over to the studio, Marion and I. We used to come over there at... Um, you know, WNEW and everything. Yes, yes. You used to come over to WNEW. Where are you now? Still out there looking for a job. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. It's tough. Economy's tough. Even Big Black can't find a job. He's been looking for like the last 34 years, I think. Uh, what do you want? You want to talk about Hackamania? Any chance of a job at Hackamania? I will be there gambling with Boss Man Jack. Oh, that would be fantastic. Yes, I think we could get you at least a free ticket. If Joey C's getting a free ticket, I demand that Lady Die gets a free ticket. Uh, sir? Everyone should go buy their discounted tickets for Hackamania. I hear Melton has chosen a larger venue, a methadone clinic near Area 51. 
Yes. Yes, it is going to be at a methadone clinic near Area 51. Yes, Ralph, what would you want to say to Lady Di? Well, actually, I want to talk to you, sir. I hate to burst your bubble. Yes. Hackamania has been canceled, sir. Well, Lady Di, we have to go. Uh, apparently, Hackamania has been canceled. But thank you for calling. I appreciate it. Hey, Tookie, one last thing. Yes. Crack open a cold nat for me tonight. I or will. Tomorrow morning. Or both. Yes. Admiral or Bonnie out. All right, Admiral Urbani. Great to hear I from you. I love you, Tookie. Oh, I love you, Admiral Urbani. That was fantastic. How, how come AI can make a great voice but can't get a good cell phone connection? I don't know. How do it know? How do it know? Um, what are you talking about with Hackamania? Oh, uh, Melton announced it today, sir. Hackamania was canceled. Do you have I was clip? awoken by a potato cheering in the room next door. Do you have a clip of this, or are you just going by what you have heard? Uh... I'll find the clip, sir. Yes, maybe you should have brought found the clip before you brought this up. But OJ yeah, said he was going to get it, sir. This is not true. From my, from my knowledge, Hackamania is still on. This is not true. Uh, also, I want to I want to show real quick a uh, super chat from last show. Peter Dar- uh, Darren Klein. Peter Darren Klein? $5. I mean, the show is great, but there's a whole lot of honkies around. Oops. Account canceled. Have a nice day. Thank you. Peter Darren Klein. Why does it seem so weird? <laughs> Red 473. My daddy sure did know his way around my prostate. I've had like 20 Dr. Steve's in there. Fantastic. Yes, we think Dr. Steve is going to examine Rocco's prostate at Hackamania. Jesus. I think we're going to have a big curtain. Maybe do one of those curtains so that there's a light and you can see Dr. Steve behind me, but you see my head poking through or Rocco's head. Maybe I'll have Tuki poking his head too. So who's it going to be? Tuko, Tuki or Rocco? Well, it's going to be Rocco. Oh my God. Dr. Steve has two hands, sir. Yes, that's true. <laughs> but I'm thinking maybe both Tuki and Rocco's heads should be poking out of the uh, screen so we can look at each other and yell at each other when Dr. S- uh, Steve inserts his big giant sausage fingers into my tight, tight butthole. But it's going to be fantastic. I, I just thought of a great bit, sir. Yes. Remind me to ask, tell you after. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> tell me later. <laughs> Cut the grass. You're on the uh, Tukey Show. T- uh, Tukey Soup. Whatever this crap is called. Hey, good evening, Tukey. I just wanted to call up and say I, uh, I love you more than a friend. And also be careful of Dr. Steve because I heard he gets fisty. Yes. Yes. I've heard that from many people. Dr. Steve does like to grease up his fist. He gets a little ambitious just when he thinks he's going to put in a little finger or you think he's just going to put in a little finger. He ends up putting all five of those little fingers balled Hello, up. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, 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 welcome to the world famous Stuttering John podcast with my guest. Oh, oh great. It's Tukey. Hey, John, how's it hanging? Has your son queefed in your face recently? Uh, nope. Kicking this troll off. I am tired of people trashing my loser kids, but I am desperate for any attention. I sold them out for 300 bucks to TMZ. Mm -hmm, Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That was Purple uh, Monkey Dishwasher skipping the queue so we can get that out there. What's been going on with John this week? Anyone... Been paying attention these last two days. I caught a little bit today. It's really hard to pay attention to John. I I, I tuned in for about ten minutes and tuned tuned out. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. How about All you, heard, uh, Ralph? Ralph? All I heard was this today, sir. <laughs> Oops. What the hell was that? <laughs> Wrong clip, sir. God damn it, sir! Jesus. Oh, good. You stink too. We both stink. <laughs> it's fantastic. And I don't even like we got a cheese, and I would never eat it. I don't even like Regatta Cheese. I would never eat it. That, that pretty much sums up his show this week, sir. He's on with the Quad Father, I believe, still, um, and his numbers are his numbers are plummeting, sir. He's losing ground. He is. He is, sir. That's fantastic. He was. I did catch him talking about Shuli and how Shuli didn't graduate and may have lied on his application to be a dealer in Vegas. Do you have to and... graduate high school to become a blackjack <sighs> dealer? I, I, according to John, you have to go to blackjack highly. school. Well, yeah, you have to go to blackjack school, but you don't need a high school grad a diploma to go to blackjack school. 
Well, he's, say, cool he's saying it's a federal offense and he what is it for lying on his application to blackjack school? I guess he's so. a rat's ass. Well, no, that's not the only federal offense he's accusing people of this week. The uh, the call from the creep off to Stevie Tomatoes was also a federal oh, yeah. offense. That's right. Yes. And the police are investigating, that. sir. I saw I saw that he was bragging that Vinny Paulino moonhead. Yeah, you heard me moonhead made a call to Stevie Tomatoes and they did not inform them that they were on the air. Mm-hmm. Uh, but and then and then John was trying because someone was like, well, John, didn't you record President Trump's call? And he was like, well, that's different because they actually called me. And he was, you know, he, he had all his uh, ducks in line for why his call when he didn't, you know, let them know they were recording was different. It's fantastic. John is quite the, John is quite the uh, lawyer. Quite the lawyer, sir. He knows all the laws everywhere. It's fantastic. He's doing it. We're doing it. Supertip.gg slash Tukey is doing it. We're doing it. Holy shit. Tukey T.O. Tui Fowo K. I.E. from 748 Boa Constrictor Boulevard. Stole my material, being late for his show. Gibby bye yum. Boa Constrictor Boulevard. <laughs> oh no, they doxed me. They doxed me. Yes, Ralph, were you going to say something? I have that clip if you wanted, sir. Oh yes, please show me where Hackamania is canceled. Cancellation. Are you sitting down, sir? I am. All right. I hope so. I hope you got refundable airfare, sir. Mm-hmm. 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 I gotta start facing reality. We're 45 days out. Oh no! Uh, when I started this hackamania thing, I always said, you know, it was contingent on if we sell enough. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know, if I'm we so move sad. enough tickets. And I always knew it was a real possibility that we wouldn't. I had no idea oh, how no. big my show was because I buy all my followers and fans. Mm-hmm. Wait, but I heard Ray sold three yeah. tickets yesterday. Maybe we could turn this around. You think we, we think we need more Ray, sir? We need more Rays. Ray, Ray is the cure. Yes. And, uh, no, keep playing. Know, tickets have been on sale for over two months now. That just the people have spoken. Oh, no. And I think it's just, you know, we're going to have to face the facts that it's not happening. So I got to start facing reality. We're 45 days. Wait, what was that? Oh, I was gonna say, what was that jump? This is this is shocking to Tuki. Get that off my screen. Sorry for the hunchback, sir. This is horrible. Like my key. What happened? What changed? I don't know. Oh, there it goes. It's coming back. Tuki's coming back to reality. I don't know. I do not believe that. I think that is an altered video, just like Ray DeVito would say. It's a fake video. That's not, I mean, the video's not real. It's not even a video. It was a hologram. <laughs> a hologram. Many, many, sir, many are speculating that this is the first of many fake cancellations. Oh, no. So that when the actual cancellation happens, sir, people will be less upset. Maybe this is just to get people excited to buy, you know, because, you know, people often want things that they can't have. So perhaps this is just a way to get people excited and think, oh, no, this event isn't going to happen. Now I want to go. Now that it's not happening, now I want to go to it. But either way, no, that this, this is bullshit. This is not hackmania.com uh, promo code Tukey. Get your 20% off like Ray's three friends did. Are you saying this is like, you know, that hot girl in your neighborhood growing up always wore the chastity belt? Yes. And you just wanted her even more. Yes. Yes, exactly. 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 All right. Everyone's favorite caller is on the air. Oh, no. Hey, what's up, Tukey? I got some special stuttering John news Whoa. that I would like to share. Yes. Spy report. Spy yes. Report. I, uh, There's going to be no news. I actually wrote a new. I actually wrote a movie script about stuttering John. I want to feel you deep inside of me. Gosh, I want to feel you deep inside of me. Gosh, I want to feel you deep inside of me. Gosh, deep inside.
Wanna feel you deep inside of me. Gosh, I wanna feel you deep inside of me. Gosh, I wanna feel you deep inside of me. Gosh, I deep inside of me. Oh, I was trying to tell you to keep playing it. That's why I gave you the thumbs up. I didn't see the thumbs up. Sorry. sorry. <laughs> I thought it was funny. I, I um, <laughs> It was funny to hear him laugh like a lunatic. So I want to hear him <laughs> laugh like a lunatic the whole time. Like, Come on, Toki Powers, activate. <laughs> Michael Gavinelli, you told us last time that you wrote a script, and you sent it to me, and I haven't had a chance to look at it yet. Well, it, it's great because I doubt uh, it. Stuttering John actually, <laughs> Stuttering John actually plays a male hooker. Oh! Then he falls falls in love with a transsexual woman. Oh! This would actually be played by you, correct? <laughs> no, no. <Is> that, guys, <laughs> that sounds fantastic. <laughs> and yes, and by the way. The ending is great. All right. Well, why don't you spoil it for us and tell us the ending right now? Uh, the trans, he actually had. All right. Goodbye, Michael Gavin Ali. Hello, uh, Last Sled. You want to talk about Lady Die AI call? Yes. Hi, Tuki. Yes, we were visited by the ghost of Lady Die. That was fantastic. I know. It was, wasn't that so cool? How do you do that? Stuff. Yeah, it sounded just like it was because it was her. And you know how they say ghosts have unfinished business, and that's why they're ghosts. Oh, why? Yes. Have you heard that? That was in the new Ghostbusters, but I've heard that other places too. Yes, um, she's the reason she still rules this earth. She well, she's looking for more Natty Ices. I just thought of that one, mm -hmm. but mainly. She's always trying to get hired at that family dollar. That's my theory anyways. That is true. She has been looking for a job for the past 30 years or so, just like Big Black. But, you know, market's rough. Market's tough. Oh, Lady Di's not dead, sir. She's oh, yeah, she's not dead. Very much alive, living on a submarine, sir. Oh, yeah, I forgot to you know, correct that guy. Lady Di is alive and not well, but she is alive. We know that much. It's a saint, sir. But other than that, we don't know much. Uh, okay. Should we do uh, the Tukey t-shirt contest winner? Yeah, absolutely. I don't know how I can do this. I forgot to, I forgot to pull it. Just like I forgot to move Tukey's mouth. I stink. Why do you keep moving his eye then, sir? Ah, shut up. I'm pretending like that's not happening. All right. Uh, so the, there were so many entries into uh, the Tukey t-shirt contest that I'm sure no matter who I pick, I'm going to piss off some people. I did not do a fan vote because I cannot get anything figured out in time in order to do that. So I just went ahead and there were a lot of uh there were a lot of great entries seriously like everyone was awesome. Uh but in the end I did decide to go with one that was not AI. I also went with one that was all original. It did not take anyone else's uh art or anything like that. And I think I also went with pretty much the simplest design and it is this one. Oh, that was anticlimactic. That sucks. Yay! That's I, think this, I think this is the one I decided on. Did yeah, I? It's nice and simple. It looks cool. Right? I think it looks cool. It look good on a black t-shirt. I only have to get like black. It's a personal reference, right, sir? I guess. Who cares? <laughs> Tukey's eyes do look pretty stoned in that picture. Well, the only thing that bothered me about this one is that it says Tukey, but it doesn't necessarily have Tukey on it. Yeah, maybe if there was like a little outline of Tukey where the face is behind it. You know? Yeah, OJ, uh, if you notice, Tukey has uh, Kilroy's nose. He does. Yes. <laughs> he does have Kilroy's nose. Wow. Uh, I'm trying to find the name of 
the person who made this because <laughs> I am not fucking. I am not uh, Kathleen. Wait, I might have said the wrong name. <laughs> no, I think it's Kathleen. Did you just dead name someone, sir? Yeah. Really disorganized. Holy shit. I thought that was bad. So that's it. Kathleen, congratulations. <laughs> Get a free shirt. It is Kathleen. Get some cash. How do you know? Well, you just said it. No, you're just doubling down. Oh, I am. Yes, I think it's Kathleen. Kathleen, <laughs> hopefully it's you. I think it's you. Or is it Catherine with a K? This, cost, this contest stinks. But I think I'm also <laughs> going to get another T-shirt made of uh, just another design. So there, I think there'll be two. I think I'm bringing two T-shirts to uh, Hackamania. It's going to be fantastic. Sweet. More money. Money, 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 money. Give us all your money. But yes, the grift is going strong. This is the turn. You know that turn? Everyone was talking about it. It's about us. It's about us becoming money-hungry pieces of garbage. Like Deluxe. Jordana, sir? Well, hold on. We'll talk about her in a second. Deluxe. Uh, I read online that Dr. Steve is listed as a regular at P. Diddy's freak-off parties. Any comments? What? Not my Dr. Steve. I, I can see it. Actually, maybe, yeah, maybe our Dr. Steve. Didn't Dr. Steve say on the last show that his bucket list was to sleep with a hooker? He did. Of age? <laughs> of already, age. Um, yes, of age. Of an age, he said. Of any age. No, but that's a good so call. That's true. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Thank you. No, no problem. No, Great job. No, it is not true, you monster. I hope that wasn't Dare Stuttering me. John's private investigator, sir. Oh, no, that could have been Stuttering John's private in investigator. Dustin. 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 What were you saying about Alicia Jordana? Well, you're talking about money hungry whores. Yes. Uh, <laughs> what what is your take on that? I, I think the guy I think the guy didn't beat her enough. He should have I, bashed her head into that steering wheel until she looked like Wendy. I went back and watched from the beginning, sir. Yes. It's uh she's a messed up broad. She's I think a that's cunt. the nicest thing I can say. She's, she's always a cunt. Been, she's always been fucked up though. That nerdy little insulin, isn't that the guy who charged people too much for like insulin or something? Wasn't that who that guy was? Or high pitch Mike? Was that high pitch Mike? No, that that, that kid's like uh, his parents are mega rich. Oh, he has MS shit. apparently. Oh, he has MS? She, at one point she said, I don't care if you have MS. So I'm oh, assuming he has MS. No, maybe he has uh, masturbation syndrome. Possibly. She can't stop masturbating. You know, when I first watched that video, I thought that, that the guy might be a little at fault. But after watching it a second time, I don't Fuck think so. that. Fuck that. She started hitting him in the face. He, he, he didn't do shit at first. And then he said, stop fucking hitting me. You do it one more time. I'm going to fucking bash your head in, cunt. And she did it. And then he fucking, ah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, that was fantastic. I'm, I'm sorry, sir. Yes. But if you knew what he did, you, would, you wouldn't you would be on her side, That's or on his side. No, I do know. He gave $2 million to an OnlyFans chick? Yes. How dare what he? Fuck. Give it to Tukey. And, he, and then someone was saying, or I guess I was watching it actually on John's show. John was watching. And John was like, oh, am I going to get struck for this? Uh. YouTube, just know. I mean, this isn't my video. He's defending himself. Like he was trying to like justify well, playing the video. Subreddit surfing got struck for much less than that once. So, oh, really? Possible. Violence. Yeah, the violence can be. Yeah, but man, when he like was trying to pull her out of the car, and she's just like, "I'm sorry, I'm sorry." That was the only time I thought he went too far. He shouldn't have tried to throw her. He should have just left the car. Oh, he should have took a knife and cut her head off justified justified that that i'm sorry didn't give you a boner did it sir i no. think she was arrested well kind of yes yes there is a mug shot can one of you get the mug shot we'll show the mug shot because it's always funny i got it okay. when a woman finally gets her comeuppance no it doesn't matter but and to the woman who called into nlo today to narc me out for saying that i was bringing a gun she was like, did you hear Tukey said he's going to bring a gun to Hackamania? Yeah, you can carry a gun in Nevada. Like, you don't need any special permit. You can just, you know, 
you can wear a gun out if you think. However, I do not believe I am bringing it because uh, someone made a good point. You can't carry it when you're El Harible, which is what I'll be most of the time. So, so just a sword, sir. Yes. I'm bringing a giant sword, a samurai sword. It's going to be fantastic. Uh, Thanks for having me on. Now that Hackamania is canceled, I would like to announce my own event with Tony Chase at Circus Circus, room 240. No need to spend $900 on Uber due to a venue change. Blessings to Lady Di and dearly departed Bill. Thank you. Why did this one... This was a... Uh, Dr. Cream Jeans, 20 bucks. How much for an El Harible or Rocco signed pick? OJ, I'm in Columbus. Columbus, just drive it down and I'll give you cigarettes. Hashtag promo code Cardiff. Hashtag shit dick MGA. Uh, just send me a send me a uh, email at tukisoup at gmail.com, Dr. Cream Jeans, and I'll uh, I'll hook you up. Yes, he'll I, email you the price. Yes, I will email you the price. I don't want to say it here because it'll make everyone else jealous because they obviously cannot afford it. Just we like also they... get dynamic pricing, sir. So it depends yes. on the time of order. Yes. And right now it's at least 20 bucks. So you're on the right path. Uh, the stupid uh, potato ratted me out to Haku about the divider. I didn't know she made it herself out of palm fronds. No. And I've been dodging coconuts and seashells since she found out. Fuck you, potato. The potato is not talking to Haku, sir. No. <laughs> Haku. Haku. <laughs> anyway. But yes, yeah, so, but but that caller called into NLO. Uh, yes, I can carry. You know, I have a concealed carry permit in my state and other states that re recognize it. Nevada does not recognize concealed carry. So you have to open carry. But no, I did not. I was not saying that I was bringing a gun like I'm going to gun down everyone at the fucking event. I was just saying. I happen to carry a gun on me most time, most times, and uh, I was just saying I, I was going to bring it, but it probably is not the best idea. Maybe just a t-shirt gun, sir, for all the shirts you're going to sell. Yes, a t-shirt gun. You can get that on Amazon. You can shoot it right at people. Oh, that seems <laughs> pretty cool. Hit them in the gut. Yeah. Oh, that could be a booth. If you could take a t-shirt gun to the gut you get the t-shirt for free oh there she is how pretty someone did their makeup how old does it say she is 50 uh doesn't say sir at least on this page it doesn't say her date of birth no just booking date maybe it's cut off from this i don't know i don't know sir. it's fantastic she's gotta be 50 but did the other guy not get arrested? Uh, I don't know, sir. I, from uh, this there is a was big win for men. Well, according to another video I saw, he was back at the Airbnb that same day. Oh, okay, and she Fantastic. looked like she was booked and held overnight. Fantastic! So. Fantastic justice is served. She's it's off the streets. They're saying. It. She I don't know. I don't trust this, but it's saying she's 39. See, I saw 35. Someone was claiming 35, like uh, TMZ or something, I think. That's the age she would say, though. Right, exactly, 41, exactly. Right? Like 35. Exactly. Is the... I'm getting 39. And I'm 35, sir. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I have no idea. But anyway, I'm on the side of the incel simp billionaire who gives million dollars to chicks he meets online i guess <gasps> we should disguise as a chick has he ever met that girl that he gave two million dollars to I believe it's ai sir <gasps> we'll talk after the show but yeah well, we should do this anyway back to the t-shirt thing again uh you saw some leftover underwear we could mail out sir yes Yes, I know how to fake used underwear. 
that we can mail out to people. But yes, yes, I'm I'm a professional at this. But I saw this. This was posted. There is actually a Bedabblers Anonymous. And I saw this today and I was like, shit, if I saw this last week, this would have won the t-shirt contest. I really like that. That is really good, sir. A Tukey card? But he looks like a joker? I feel like I saw that on Twitter. See, I only I just saw it today. I don't know when someone made it, but uh who made this? Uh it's from user Jackie Spratt. Jackie Spratt. So there you go. That's awesome, Jackie Spratt. Good job. Uh Jimmy. Jimmy got a Tuki emergency about the AI, Nate not taking his credit card. This is an emergency. <laughs> Jimmy, I can't hear whatever you're playing, but I'm going to hang up. I guess you were going to play something. Anyway, call back. But no, that would be horrible. If Melton couldn't get your credit card information, the boss would be very mad at me. He'll be, how come you're not getting I I can't do it. Melton, Melton. I can't fucking do nothing. Um, but yes, him and Moody will be very, very upset about this if uh, if that is true, that, you know, we can't get your credit card information. That would be very, very bad. The actual definition of insanity is eating your own poop or proving to Stangers that you indeed do have human feet. <laughs> proving to Stangers. I was wondering why I pronounced it Stangers, but I'm like, oh, that's how he spelled it. Yes, that is how he spelled it. It's fantastic. We're doing it. <laughs> Did hear Shuli has been stealing ideas from Pod Trash and Gonzo? Yep. He stole the network idea and would steal ideas and bits for the Stern show. Shuli is a hack. Nothing but a joke. Stealing Jew. Jew. It's horrible. <laughs> To enable hate speech, sir. Who did he steal from? Gonzo, I guess. The Muppet Baby? I know him. Gonzo Shitcock, sir. Oh. Is that a real person? Of course, sir. Oh, that's fantastic. I was kind of out of the stern world. Doesn't he have something to do with... Gonzo Shitcock? You were out for... That was like Eric that was Midget. Eric Midget stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I remember hearing about him. He but... may be the reason that Eric died. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're right did kill him i guess i he did know more him. about him than i want to know i don't know why i just yeah you're right he was around and he is in this universe he's poked his head in a couple times sir. yes it's fantastic and apparently they dated i just don't care he dated elisa yeah apparently is he a millionaire he must be he was on the howard stern show sir everyone who was on the howard stern show is a millionaire mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. including stuttering john yes of course that's fantastic uh i guess we have a show we should probably do a show why sir At some point we should do a show yeah you're right why why should we do a show steel toe doesn't do a show just sits there and goes okay no one sent money in quite some time what's going on everybody didn't he get fired from his radio station today or something sir stream labs build a bear bucks mcdonald's rewards <laughs> paypal venmo Come on, everybody, do your part. We got to do it for April. Gets a shit. <laughs> they literally, I watched a little bit today because I woke up at like 4.30 in the morning and I listened to Opie at the gym and then I came home and uh, Melton wasn't on yet. So Who were you blowing at the gym so early, sir? Gym, duh. But uh, yeah, uh, I, I had nothing to listen to from like six o'clock my time to seven. So I turned on the old toe. And it was pretty cool. And he was just, he literally, he does about five minutes on a topic and then it was right back to, all right, we're still at 290 for our goal. Come on, everybody. Let's hit that goal. Let's do it for April. It's like, what, what do you mean do it for April? Who cares? Who gives a frat's fucking ass what she's doing? Get a job. Oh, sir. It's ridiculous. Yes. I have some dabbler gossip if you'd like, sir. <gasps> dabbler gossip? Oh shit, I have one that says with Cardiff, but I forgot to load it. I really do. I'm Ralph, sir. Oh yeah, I need to make one with Ralph. Yes, Ralph. What is your dabbler gossip? Uh sir. That's more of a blind item, sir. What 
starchy vegetable has recently warmed up to the onion. What? Oh, wow. This wasn't two weeks too late, stupid. <laughs> Could have been a hackamania, stupid. What do you mean you warmed up to the onion? I don't know, I've just been or... listening the past couple days. <laughs> I know, it, it is a, he can suck you in, can't he? 100%. He's fantastic. <laughs> That's what I've been telling you, stupid. But did you hear that uh, Cardiff Electric's name did come up today again on the show? Today. But for a different reason? Not for promo code Cardiff. That's a big hit I want everyone to use. No. And then well, use let me, promo code Tuki. Let me play this real quick. It's time to blow up. Why is it making gurgling sounds? Uh, oh, why did that end quick? Uh, no. You know who popped their head back into the Dabbleverse this week, according to Patrick? Who is that? The Brandon Network. Who he is said, that? He sent, remember Brandon Network was the guy who said that he would fly Ga, Ga out to the first. Oh, uh, the guy with the video camera that was. Yes. He, he was paranoid that Shuli had, like, he's legitimately crazy. I mean, that's what OJ told me, Brandon. No, that's what I keep true. hearing from OJ. No, yeah, OJ told me that too, sir. Yes, but anyway, he sent out this long, long email to like Washington Post. All like uh, Melton said, like two hundred different like sources. He sent them out, like, but like Melton was included, New York Post, like Fox News, all this crazy shit that he wrote that makes no sense. But it also claim he claims that all these people have doxxed him, and one of the names that I caught was Cardiff Electric. Uh oh! You know whose name he didn't say? Oh, Tukey. <laughs> How come Tukey wasn't in your email? Crazy, fucking nuts! So <laughs> I don't even have a word. He may have checked out of the Dabbleverse just before Tukey took off, sir. Yeah, but yeah, no, I don't know because he was creep of the week. On be dabbling live when he did that god thing, and I think he was pretty mad at me. Wasn't that. It him that came up with the uh, hacka hacka? Yes, that was the other thing I wanted to say. Without Brandon Network, we would not have hacka hacka. And again, Dang. Brandon, you get no money for that, but we thank you and your craziness. Finally, your craziness paid off. But yes, Brandon, I know for a fact that Cardiff does not dox you. And neither does OJ or Melton. No one is doxing you. Carl. Carl's name was on there. Maybe Shuli. Maybe. Sounds I mean, like you, something Shuli would do, sir. Yes. And you did have some pretty, pretty damaging evidence that Tuki, or uh, not Tuki. Remember, not Tuki. Shuli was sending people to spy on you. Remember that? I think he was like climbing in trees. Or you see really pictures of people watch, in trees watching cars go by with this camera and yeah. oh yeah, in front of houses. Someone really, someone really does need to document all this. I think I, I actually reached out to Shuli during that time. I was like, dude, be careful. I don't know if somebody's like at your house or what's going on. Yeah. But uh yeah, so anyway, I was I think we mentioned him a couple of weeks ago. We're like, whatever happened to that guy? Well, he's somewhere, he's lurking and <laughs> writing crazy emails. But Brandon, we are a huge fan of yours. Your beloved Chata. And speaking of the beloved Chatas, we should do everyone's favorite part of the show before we even do any show. Because this is not a show. But uh, let's do the uh, super chip. No, super tips. The super chats. And then uh, we'll start talking about some clips. Start playing some clips. But first, money, 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 money. Money, money, money. <laughs> That's your cue, OJ. I wasn't sure if you were going to the... Uh, no, no, no. That's why I said dense, chat. Yeah. really need to spell it out for OJ. Marcus Foster became a YouTube member. Thank you so much, Marcus Foster. Red473, thanks for the five bucks. Congrats to Elisa Jordana for going viral today. Dabbleverse isn't sending its best. Do we have to admit John may have been right about her? Dude, she was. She was uh, viral. She was. She's on World Star. Well, yeah, like, uh, like millions of views on on that yeah. versions of that video now. God yep. damn it. She, I, I, I think somewhere she's loving this. We should have sent her a Tukey shirt. 
God damn it. Dr. Steve was wearing a Tukey shirt in his video, but it didn't go viral. That, that didn't go viral, sir. God damn it. Nor, nor will it, sir. Why do, why do people want to see pretty ladies and not old doctors? Because Dr. Why Steve sucks, care? literally sucks the life of out of room, sir. But she sucks. Uh, Jay Wolfenstein, $5. Hey, Tukey, hope you enjoyed making that cameo for me. I loved it. Hacka, hacka. Yes. More ways to send your money to Tukey. Uh, a long time ago, Cameo reached out and invited Tukey to be part of Cameo. It's a very <laughs> prestigious honor. Only Tukey and Steel Toe have been invited. And what did it take for your approval, sir? <laughs> it was pretty instant. It happened like right away. And there was no invite. I just signed up. It happened. It literally anyone could join Cameo. It's stupid. It's really not what I've heard, sir. Really? I've heard it's very exclusive. No, it is. Are you listening to Steel Toe? He's lying to you. Any idiot can be on it. Look in the screener app, sir. So apparently the link in chat isn't working for super tips. The link in chat. Yes. Doesn't work for super tips. What would the link in chat be? What? The one that's pinned to the top? Yes, apparently it's not working. Hold on. It should just be super tip dot gg slash tukey. Isn't that what it says? I don't know, sir. I don't know either. That's OJ's job. Now I gotta click it. Yes, sir. Because neither one of you two idiots can click it. Yeah, I, I'm doing it right now. <laughs> oh, now I'm listening to myself. How do you sound, sir. Oh yeah, how it's do I make that working. like a it's link? It's not work. It isn't. Yeah. yeah, it isn't letting me click it. That that that, that is correct. That's factual. It's not. Did you put HTTP colon slash slash, sir? Oh, I gotta do that shit. Maybe because it's a dot gg, it doesn't recognize it as a. We're learning. This isn't a show. www. Dot. No, that's the thing. People were putting www. Dot before. And uh, that was causing them to say that the website was not secure. And then people were like, oh, see? See? They're making it so it's not secure. Okay, there we go. I'm, I'm very stupid. insecure. Now it works. Right? Okay, yes. there we go. Now it works. You there you go. Here. Now Start the show over, sir. Morons. Oh. Start the show over. Everybody test the new link, please. American Cupcake. Hey, I'm half Jewish. It's my dad's side, so it really doesn't count, but we all know it does. What? Wow. Genta, a member for six months. I hey, think that was Anthem. a pro-Palestinian. Uh, OJ, a passive aggressively putting that up. Ralph, Genta. you starred that one. Genta, a member for six months. Hey, handsome. Genta. Love you and OJ more than a friend. Love you, Genta. Uh, we love you, Genta. Fantastic. We're doing it. Tim, 422 member for seven months out fucking standing show not a show slash show no this is not a show i mean it's supposed to be a show but it's quickly turning into not a show barrister 1401 ten dollars if you put mga on then i'm canceling the super chat oh no i'm sorry i put him on before he saw the super chat i apologize <sighs> but yes he's you, you literally put dummy before money sir yes we always do dummy before money Fantastic, thank you. Uh, Don, two dollars. A new show idea, biggest uh, prospect. <laughs> Testing the new link. <laughs> He's making too much money. The money is fighting the other money. <laughs> it's fantastic. We should have money wars. Yes, but that was another one that skipped the queue. So I had no, I had no, uh, I had no, uh, control. control. Yes. Don, $2 new show idea. Biggest prostate contest. Ooh. But we would need Dr. Steve, I guess, to feel everyone's prostates. I feel like my, I have the biggest prostate. No, Cardiff probably has the biggest prostate. <laughs> Who are we kidding? <laughs> How would Cardiff's prostate, prostate be any bigger than an average man's prostate? Because you're gigantic. You think you're the giant. prostate is proportional? Yes. What do you think? You have regular sized organs? You think Isn't I have everything bigger? So would my shit be bigger than you? Or would Probably shit be bigger than. I would imagine. I think, should, I think we should check at DabbleCon too. Giant man on the. Do we know board. a professional shit wear that can help us? Oh, I don't know. Wait, yes, we do. Surely. Oh, we do. Okay, good. DabbleCon too. <laughs> yes, DabbleCon too. Come prepared. You eat, oh. you eat your food. I'll eat Minnesota food, and we'll yes. see. <laughs> oh, that would be hilarious if we wait. A week recreated. This. We're doing it. Yes. We are doing it. And we're also docking. 
<laughs> hey, hey Shuli, I'm gonna need you to get an extra room at the hotel. We need one bathroom just for weighing shits. <laughs> All right, Purple Monkey Dishwasher, remember for three months, John should sue me for illegally recording as well. Yes, you're right. But no, he should not. But yes, you're right. Every, John wants, everyone wants me. Everyone's going to be sued. Uh, Eddie Valentino, thank you for the $5. Hackamania is canceled. I blame Don Reynolds. He sucks. Who's Don Reynolds? Don Reynolds. The crumpled oh, was that that? Coat. Who? Podcast. Oh, I thought that was that white, white chocolate. chocolate. Oh, yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I know. Yes, I know who that is then. I mean, I know of him. Isn't it the same as the crumpled trench coat? I don't know. I don't know either. Tickle me, Tukey. Thank you for the 20 bucks. <laughs> Tukey, do you remember me? You were the puppet my therapist gave to show him where Ray DeVito touched my little boy pee-pee. <laughs> Why haven't you called me, Tukey? Did it mean nothing to you? No. I just, I don't want to talk to any of Ray DeVito's friends. Well, I guess I talked to OJ, who's Ray DeVito's best friend, but <laughs> anyone who's a friend of Ray's is usually a dummy or ends up dead on the side of the road. Who knows the hellish things that Ray has done? But yes, thank you for the watch the Elisa Jordana video and he just laughed like amateur. Yes. That's not how you get a girl out of the car on the side of the road. You're screwing it up. You're going to leave hair particles in the car. You're going to, or hair fibers. You can't pull her hair in the car. You pull her hair once she's out of the car. At least too much evidence. Because then later you say, oh, she was never in this car. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh... Meanwhile, she's decaying in the trunk. She's decaying. And you, you, you really, you really want to pop that trunk as fast as you can and try and push her in there. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. But you know, you you learn, you learn, you learn. Eddie Valentino, five dollars. I heard Don Tony eats his corn like stuttering John the long way. Are you talking about like Don Tony the wrestling? Yeah, that's what I was thinking of. Podcaster. It's gotta be. That's the only I haven't listened to that guy for fucking forever. Yeah, about 10 or 15 years for yeah, me. Yeah, I totally forgot about that guy until right now. Didn't you just I... mention the other day, sir? I don't think so. Didn't you just do something about WrestleMania? I think we did mention him briefly at one point. But... I don't remember then, and I, I don't think I was paying attention. But, yeah, I used to listen to Don Tony and Kevin Castle. Kevin and Castle, they, yeah. Yeah, and then they used to do a show with uh, Wrestling Soup, those two guys. Mm. What were their names? I Chuck don't. Fuck. Yeah, I don't remember those guys. They suck and fuck. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I used to listen to those guys. But yeah, I didn't give a shit about WrestleMania. Did you watch it, OJ? I did not. Fantastic. I Kinky did not Loco. give a shit either. Kinky Loco, five bucks. Ray and Brandon Network should off ladies on I-80 together and then themselves. Oh. I have some dabbler gossip myself. I heard that Ray was allegedly talking about backing out of Hackamania last night because eight different people are telling him to kill himself? <laughs> to be fair, it's two people telling him with four sock accounts, sir. Yes, of course. <laughs> but Ray... And then... You know, Both, I believe, are in this chat right now, sir. Yes, <laughs> of course. It's all Kiki Loco's goons. But anyway, Ray... I thought I heard you today talking to like Joey C about don't let it bother you. You don't let them, you shouldn't let them, you know, know it bothers you because then they're just going to keep doing it. And Ray, it's like literally the same thing with you. Why do you <laughs> literally Ray's the only person I know who considers kill yourself a death threat. Like Ray, as long as you don't kill Ray, Ray should be fine. <laughs> So if you think about it, it really means nothing. No, we we discussed this last night, sir. In Ray's case, it it might be. He might not be able to. He might not be able to mentally outsmart the instructions that have been sent to him. Well, Joe List told me to kill myself. So I I, I usually respect Joe List and what he has to say. So I think I should probably listen to him. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys. If you think there's something worth clipping in this show, press B. 
because I'm going to go back later and go through the timeline. And uh, that was a mistake telling make OJ clip. that, sir. What? Shouldn't have told OJ that, sir. No, I probably shouldn't have told you that. You're just going to keep pressing B. B is his favorite letter to hit on the oh, no. keyboard, sir. But uh, yeah, uh, Ray, Ray, go away. Come again another day. But Ray did apparently sell three thrice. I know there's at least one confirmed, at least. No, no, Ray or uh, Melton definitely confirmed. Okay. That Ray has sold three tickets yesterday. I know three, so so three. thorough. Joe Burrow, he for sure bought one. He posted it on Twitter today. Oh, Joe Burrow. We have the same last name. I would have thought that you would have used promo code Tukey, but that's fine. Even Ray has to be thrown a bone. Hopefully Tukey's still in the lead. I have no idea. But uh, here's a video from our sponsors about Ray. Well, no one buys milk. I don't think they do. I don't know. I know I don't. But I usually, what I will do is I'll go to, um, when I go to Panera's and I'll get like a cookie. All right. Here's a little cheat code. Call me a piece of shit for doing this. But this is what I do when I go to Panera Bread. And uh, uh, let's say I get a cookie. My favorite cookie is the kitchen sink. The kitchen sink at Panera is a great cookie. It's got everything in it. There's nuts in there. There's chocolate. There's pieces of pretzel. And there's like salt on it too. It's, for whatever reason, it's great. And what I'll do is I'll go over. I'll, I'll get my coffee. And instead of getting coffee, I go over to the milk things, the no. silver things. And I look no. for uh, 2% milk or skim milk. Oh, and I just so fill my good. cup all the way to the top with milk. And then I sit down and I eat my cookie with that milk. I I take the milk and uh, I do it. I'm the guy. I do it. An imbecile. Not the dumbest motherfucker that ever lived. You piece of shit. Not drinking milk, sir. It's like a little kid, man. It's like Gilbert. We take the little creamers. Like, why don't you take the little creamers, Ray, and just fill a cup with those little creamers? How much can a glass of milk be? <laughs> uh, whatever. Well, we all have to survive. The Ray cheat code. If, if we like cookies and milk like a five-year-old. <laughs> oh, he's wonderful. Never change, Ray. We love you. Sorry, I told OJ we're not doing Franklin Sheckler videos anymore. I guess... You decided to defy those orders, OJ, and play two on this no, show? No, no, that was all Ralph. Oh, yes, that's right. It was Ralph. Anybody what did I do, sir? What? What did I do, sir? You did it all. You know what you did. And that's why you will be reprimanded after the show. I'm looking forward to it, sir. But good job. All right. I guess we should do a show. I mean, we've been on for an hour, and we've done no show. So oh my god, is... we have been on for an hour. Not quite no. an hour yet, sir. We've done nothing. Nine minutes was intro. All right, so we have three people to go over today. I can't change my background because now uh we literally five minutes before seven o'clock, everything blue was keyed out in the super tips and everything. So we had to figure out how to get everything fixed. Thank you to uh Melton for helping me out, and I have to say, Cart or Ralph and OJ definitely helped me out. So OJ and Ralph, sir. yes, OJ and Ralph. <laughs> so thank you guys for helping me out. Yeah, because literally five minutes before we were supposed to go on, all the super tips were going to be translucent. I didn't know what was going on, but we figured it out. It's teamwork. It's friends. And again, most of my help was while I was muted, sir. Yes, which is my. Strong suit, I've heard. Yes, very stupid. I mean, the, the next step is just to stream straight through OBS. Mm -hmm. Yes. So excited. Yes, that's what's happening. We're 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 weaning ourselves off of live uh, or StreamYard, and eventually, maybe this whole show will be OBS. But uh, John, you are on the air. Is this stuttering, John? Uh, uh, I, I know. But you did mention wrestling soup earlier. So if Tukey Soup and wrestling soup that are crossover episode, what would you call it? Uh, jockstrap soup? I have no idea. 
I would call it a big old mold of uh, battle toads. Oh, you son of a bitch. Is he calling from his bathroom? Yes. He's taking a dump like John. That's John's new bit, I guess. He shits on stream. He stole that from you. Classic. Or he stole that from Cardiff. Didn't he? That is classic Cardiff, sir. That is classic Cardiff. He's stealing, Genius, that guy. He's stealing the Cardiff bits. All right. Um, who should we do? Who should we do? Okay. Does it, do you guys know who Copper Cab is? No, sir. Really? No. So Copper Cab was the kid from the Gingers Have Souls video. Remember that? <laughs> no. You don't remember that? No, I I don't. Why do I feel like Copper Cab is like way more popular than... Oh, I'm not sure who this is, OJ. Do you know who these people are? I don't know about that. See? Doesn't know anything. But uh, Copper Cab first popped onto the scene, yeah, because of uh, South Park. When they did that episode about the gingers not having souls. Mm -hmm. And then uh, he came out. He, he did a video that went completely viral. And uh, this is our first introduction to Copper Cab. Uh, yeah. I just wanted to say that it really irritates me. That South Park would say that red-haired people don't have souls, okay? Because... We do. We do have souls, all right? And lately, I've been being called a ginger, a fat ginger, by everybody at school. <laughs> Shut up, OJ. <laughs> Not nice. It right. really hurts my feelings. I like it doesn't, but it does really bad. Gingers have souls. I go to church. I'm a Christian. You don't know me. You're not God. <sighs> You're not God. You don't know who has a soul and who doesn't. All right? I'm a Christian. So if you think I don't have a soul, you tell me. Otherwise, fuck you. So you've never seen this, OJ? No, but he's great, really? bro. Yeah, I, I'm liking him so far. Sounds Party. like he's He's ripping off that very famous Chris Rock bit. Gingers versus red-haired people. Yes. Wait, what? I don't know that one, actually. Well, it's famous. You change the words around. Oh, yes. That's, Sorry. It's okay. See? Hacka, hacka. <laughs> but have you... You've seen this kid before, right? Or this guy? I, I have not, sir. Are you serious? I, I'm realizing there's about 10 years of the internet that I didn't see, sir. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. No, I'm the same way with, like, newer things. Like, things from, like, 10 years ago to now, I don't know. But things from, like, this was, like, way back in the day. I mean, what does this say? Because this is, he has 336 subscribers, 36,000 subscribers, sorry. Uh, his YouTube channel is called Copper Cab. Uh, he has 48 million views. This was uh, put up 14 Shit. years ago. You just wanted to show everyone that. DJ Electro only has 19 viewers, sir. Yes. Yes. You're heartless. Jeez. Bitches, you... For real. It's, I'm, I'm getting sick and tired of everyone making fun of red-haired people. Like, ah, he's a ginger. <laughs> he's a ginger. <laughs> really, that's funny. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm being called a ginger every single day at school. Every day of my life. And they've contemplated suicide, all sorts of things. It pisses me off. Ginger people do have souls, all right? I'm red hair. I have red hair. I got red hair. And I'm proud of it. All right? I consider ginger... Do, yes. do ginger people with Down syndrome also have souls? No. Oh. No Down syndrome people have souls. Just checking, sir. That's why they are called God's clowns. God's because clowns do not have souls. Ginger, a very slanderous word, demeaning word, and I'm tired of it. Tired of it. You know, everybody else gets respect. I mean, black people, white people, Mexicans, everyone. Gingers, why? Why do gingers have to be 
Do they really get respect? <laughs> well, this was 14 years ago. I mean, we were probably just at the start of, uh, you know, the whole justice, mm. social justice warrior, which he is a part of that whole movement. I will explain. But not but, Mexicans, uh, sir. Who's not Mexican? Not Mexicans. They're still well, fighting for acceptance. Couldn't he possibly Mexi be Mexican as well and not know it? Like, he does look like... Like Louis C.K., sir? Yeah, Louis C.K. There is those Mexicans who look that like... That was shocking. Them. Yes, it is shocking, isn't it? Put down so much. Like, really, what's so different about us besides our hair color? Huh? And all those orange dots on your translucent skin, right? Kind of looks like me. What? Oh, kinda... oh, yeah, the orange? Yeah. Uh... Oh, umlaut, Down syndrome gingers actually have an extra soul. Oh, yes, that is right. I forgot. I always mix those two up. I always think it's you're missing a soul, but it's actually you have an extra soul. Absolutely right. Thank you, O. Really? What is so freaking different? Tell me! God! Because I don't really see much of a difference, okay? I'm redhead, I'm redheaded, and I'm proud of it. All right. Everyone else, I'm sorry. I don't mean to insult you, but you know, I mean, I'm proud of me. I'm proud of myself. You know, I'm proud I got freckles. You know, the two I am, God made me that way, and I have a soul. <laughs> so, yeah, don't freaking be like that, okay? Okay. I have a soul. <laughs> Ginger and proud of it. All right, so that's fantastic. Stop yelling at your phone and go to school. <laughs> yes. Uh, so I caught up with him, uh, man, probably now eight years ago. He had his own show on Gavin McInnes's network, Censor.tv, uh, and he would do his own kind of like vlogging show. He had like a Mima. Who would say, uh, you know, say some pretty like kind of racist things, and he would yell at her because Copper Cab became full blown left wing social justice warrior. He thinks everyone's a racist, all white people are racist. At one time, he was claiming to be trans. <laughs> that doesn't also, surprise me. And he also married someone who apparently is his half sister, Jeez. and she's actually not bad looking. Her name is Audrey. And they had a show on Gavin McGinnis's uh, network for a while, Censor.tv. He boxed Gavin McGinnis. I think that's on YouTube somewhere. Um, but yeah, he's. I had no idea that he's been live streaming because he's just like Ray and Kevin. He takes his live streams down like right after they air. So what and is I, he, like 30 now? I think he's probably like... Yeah, probably in his mid 30s, maybe early 40s ish, but probably in like his mid to late 30s somewhere. So if he was like 17 in that video, he had mm -hmm, braces. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's probably about 17, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 14, 10. No, that was what, 14 years ago, you said? Yes. Yeah, so he could be 31, 32. Yeah, it's crazy. But uh, yes, yeah, so he's been live streaming. So be sure you follow Copper Cab. Hit the bell because uh, you never know when he's going on. He goes on. Sometimes he goes on a couple of times a day. Sometimes he doesn't go on at all. Does he talk no. about the left wing shit? Yes. Well, that's the thing. I don't know if he's just a giant troll because he he pushes the left wing social justice. White people are all racist things so fucking hard that it almost seems like a work. Hmm. Copper Cab was born in 2010. That's impossible. Gee, Ra. Or no, who was that? But this, Gavin Five McGinnis Crowder? is not. Uh, he's completely opposite of yes. that. So why would he have that because dude on the show? Because he's hilarious. He just has meltdowns. Here, let me give you an example of uh, what is going on. So this was a couple of days ago on International Asexual Day chat about asexuality and learn okay it's international ace kind of looks like scorch now Jeez. and how did he get more irish well he has he's fatter he has a beard now 
and he shaved his head. What his voice? Oh well, he he puts on um, like he has like kind of the gay. He has a little bit of the gay boy. Mm. Ronnie. Yeah. I usually do confuse that with Irish. Skippy kiss. Skippy kiss. What you? Oh, because I'm saying gay. Or you're saying he sounds more Irish, and I'm saying he sounds more gay. Yeah, I think the same thing, sir. Yes. Skippy kiss, Ronnie. Sexuality day, by the way. Asexuality is when you're not sexually attracted and learn. Okay, it's International Asexuality Day, by the way. This has got to be. Asexuality is when you're not sexually attracted to any gender. You're just like you're not. You don't really have sexual attractions to people. You're ace. I'm pretty sure that's the shorthand for it. Ray. You've ever heard the term LGBTQIA plus the A? Ray no. plus, yes. You're right, OJ. <laughs> no A. I'm not letting them add an A. They did Enough. add an A. You can't take that A away from them. You'll never take that A away from them. We already gave it to them. That's why you can't give a little. They'll take a mile. No, sir. Yes. I'm known as a open-minded young man. Mm-hmm. I believe... Gay people are gay and straight people are straight. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But I do believe that only women should be wearing those earrings. Yes. Dang That's me. the one thing. Can we just agree on that? Yes. Those are women's earrings. I'm telling you, there was a period where he said he was trans. Yeah, maybe he, he identifies up... as a woman now, Kurt, or Ralph. I think he's still, he's not ashamed of any of it. But again, I don't know if we're all just being trolled. I feel hey. like... It feels like a troll to me. I might have to get some of the old uh, videos from censor.tv to, to introduce you a little more into his background because those shows were hilarious. He's so fucking funny. An LGBTQIA plus community stands for asexual. Okay, so that's him explaining what asexual are. And he actually seemed kind of normal in that clip. Um, But here's where he starts to get a little crazy. This is him explaining how he would have sex with a, a Sonic the Hedgehog doll. I'm not really sure why. On Sonic, then it makes me wonder if any Sonic 2 character would be safe around you. Okay, I mean, do you really think your red rocket would even fit inside that blue boosie? Okay, b- Sonic's bussy? I would make it fit. So he's a weirdo. Hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So he's going to rape that Sonic doll fantastic but i was just excited to see i didn't get that much of him because i only saw like pretty much the end of his thing but i was just so excited that he was on live i had no idea so uh i'm gonna follow him more but here is uh number three he explains to us the difference between asexual and celibate hey look there's a difference between being celibate and not wanting to have sex and the other thing which is experiencing no sexual attraction he's very passionate about the uh left-wing policies i don't expect a moron ignorant white male like you to get this but let me let me let me help Mm -hmm. you out here okay buddy Mm -hmm. So celibacy is when you, even if you feel sexual attraction towards others, you are choosing to remain celibate as in not uh, voluntarily uh, perform sexual acts with other people. Asexuality, the sexual orientation, okay, dumbass, is when you even is when you do not experience any sexual attraction towards other people. It's called depression, asshole. Please shut up, okay? Base Giga Chad. Asexual isn't a sexual preference. It's called celibacy. It's not new. It's not trendy. And it sure as hell doesn't deserve to be categorized. Giga Chad, that's your ignorant ass opinion. Wow. <laughs> he blows up a lot. He gets, he rage quits a lot. Someone in our chat was saying that he actually does live stream quite a lot on YouTube. Uh, but uh, here's one more clip. Like I said, I don't have a lot of clips of this guy. I just want to kind of do a little introduction. This is him denying that he has sex with a toaster. Hunter, if you end if you end this stream, it leaves the door open for some poor random innocent toaster out there to be fucked by the big. Re- I don't have sex with toasters. Okay, I'm 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 I'm. I'm I'm frankly over it. 
Why did he need to take his headphones off to say that? Because he was so worked up. <sighs> so worked up. He does not want to be associated with toaster sex. He would be much more rather be associated with sex with transsexuals. Or having people think that he's a transsexual himself. But I don't think he claims to be a transsexual anymore. Again, I have to do a little more homework on this guy. But I was my, just excited. My gut is telling me that it's a work. Okay. I, I, I'm I with you. But I'm willing to, to, to dabble into this guy a little bit mm -hmm. more and see what's going on with him. There's something, there's something going on. But I'm with you, OJ. There's a big part of me that's like, okay, this is kind of like CB Walker. He's just yeah. playing this all up. This is like a character he's playing. But I will say he has been playing this character for a very, very long time. And uh, he's fantastic. Uh, sir. Um, Copper Cap. Yes. I asked OJ to, to research this character about a month ago, sir. Yes. And he said he tried. But he kept falling asleep after he was done coming. Yes. Oh, that's <laughs> disgusting. Has anyone watched the last two episodes of MLC without Adam? No. no you haven't? No, I actually I was watching a little Melton uh, watching Kevin today. Oh, yeah, yeah. I saw he was watching. I, I turned over to Melton at 1.2. Uh, but I started watching MLC on my drive home, and my God. This yeah, I saw, there was some dude on there. I didn't know who he was. I, who was I, that? I stayed on for about two minutes. I, I, I just like said no. Is Kevin well, now interviewing Legion of Skanks fans? Is that who? Like, who was that guy? Was Adam the glue, sir? I don't I know. Think so. I think he was. But it was crazy. Because, like, yesterday was whatever. It was Buschetti and Chad. It's just a retarded formula for sir. success. Yes. I don't know if he's made a declaration of any uh -oh. type or if just Adam was the only one that knew how to do this. Mm -hmm. But as you said, two shows without Adam, neither one of them ended up behind the paywall at all. Yes. I don't That's think another he thing. It's been four days, right? Like the last wasn't two the shows la are still up. Yes. Oh, they're still up on YouTube. You mean? Yes. Oh yeah. Cause I'm a MLC Patreon member. And I noticed today that the last MLC episode on Patreon was from four days ago, but I guess that's because they're still on YouTube. Yeah, he doesn't know how to. <laughs> oh no, it's a mess. <laughs> but then Stevie Lou, Stevie Lou, he disappeared for two days. I'm done. I'm done with the dabble verse. I'm leaving. Screw you guys. I'm going home. And then he pops up as the new Adam. <laughs> I guess they're doing like a John's job or something. Mm -hmm. Is is he just trying out, or is he the new Adam? They made him an offer he couldn't refuse. What five bucks? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's fantastic. But yeah, it's like I'm done. I'm I'm done with this world. I hate it. Oh hey guys, I'm back. Now I'm just a voice. Yes, that's gonna fix everything. <laughs> now I'm just a voice. Now no one will show pictures of whatever I don't want them to, right? It's fantastic. Uh, I saw someone uh wrote earlier, has Rocco ever talked about burning Jarrett's house down? Well, that was my house as well, so I also burned down my house. But yes, Jeff Jarrett, I, sir. No, my friend Jarrett. But I did see okay. that in the chat earlier, and I wanted to address it. Yes, I feel like I have talked about the fact that I had a house fire at one point. You yes, have. but I don't know what else you want to hear. Such a boring, the most boring house burning story I've ever heard, sir. Yes, I wasn't even there for it, and I was responsible. <laughs> did I say that part? No, that's the first time admitting guilt, sir. <laughs> I wanna... Well, I mean, accidentally responsible for it. At least it was the puppet that admitted it, not you, sir. Yes. Make sure you put your cigarettes out before you throw them in a giant Home Depot bucket full of other cigarette butts <laughs> with nothing to extinguish said bucket oh, that is outside of the house that you and the other occupants of your house had to put out Many, many other times. And you oh, never really? Heard. You never thought to buy like a bag of sand or something? No! That's what the fire department said. They were like, you didn't guys didn't have any sand in there? And we're like, oh, that would have probably been good. Like, yes. Do you guys do you guys sell <laughs> sand at the fire department? Sand? Does the fire department carry sand? Yes. Could you bring some next time you're driving by? But it was. It was a total loss. Devastating fire. 
And I was miles away. And when I got the phone call, I looked in the direction of my house and I could see a giant plume of smoke. Wow. Little did I know that was my bedroom. Fantastic. Because <laughs> it happened right outside my bedroom. So there you go. There is the fire story. It's fantastic. We're doing it. But yes, I don't smoke cigarettes anymore except when i go on these dabble weekends <laughs> and i try to burn down atlantic city tukey's a pyromaniac i did it so i could watch it burn no like i said i was miles away i didn't even get i got home and the fire was still going but like other people had stories of getting out of the house meanwhile so everything was lost there. yes except for our work equipment which was in the front of the house. And we told them, we were like, please, because we lived in a place where it was a volunteer fire department and volunteer fire departments are the worst because they're just regular people. And they just get the call, hey, there's a fire. And they get all excited. So they start smashing windows. They start doing all this crazy shit. And you're like, whoa, 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 whoa. They're, don't put water in the, you don't need, the fire's at the other end of the house. Stop breaking, why are you breaking this window? And we literally like had our own company and all this equipment and it was a mess, but we were actually able to save our work equipment. So we were able to keep uh, working, but yeah, I literally just had the clothes that I was wearing so, for uh, a couple of days. So to be clear, yes, the guys who couldn't figure out how to keep a bucket from catching on fire. Yes. We're going to tell the fire department how to put out the fire. These are volunteers. They're like, oh, okay. John. They're a bunch of stuttering Johns. They just came by and they're like, I'm sure hey, they still the put fire. more. I'm sure they put up more fires than you, sir. Shut up. You shut up. Anyway, they listened to us <laughs> and it worked out and uh, no one died. So that's good, I guess. <laughs> but yeah. Would have been a better story if someone died, sir. Yes, it would have been a better story for the bit. If someone died. And then uh, Verizon tried to take us to collections because they wanted all the burned up equipment <laughs> we're like well fuck you we don't have it talk to our insurance company and they never did and they sent us to collections so my roommate made a video and it went viral and uh the next day verizon said yeah you don't worry about that equipment oh sweet but that stuff actually does work sometimes yeah they wanted to charge us like twenty seven hundred dollars for like six year old cable boxes that were melted to the wall or the floor and i heard i heard Two key got sent to collections by Verizon. Yes, yes, John, yes. use all this. Use all this. Um, but yeah, that was uh and uh I've also had bed bugs. If anyone would like to know, uh, I've had bed bugs before. Geez, After definitely. no, before the fire. And quite honestly, I would wish bed bugs on my biggest enemy before a house fire. Because I never felt like the bed bugs were completely gone until the house fire. Because I was like, okay, we don't have to be in this house anymore. But, uh, yeah, it doesn't matter how clean you are. Bed bugs will find you. No, so how that's, dirty you are. That's a complete, complete lie. What? Filthy people have bed bugs, sir. Well, yeah, but so do clean people, stupid. No, sir. It's the filthy people that bring them in. Uh, I think at the time... One of us was, uh, someone in the house was dating a, uh, 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 an assistant to a foot doctor and they go to a lot of, uh, retirement homes and apparently retirement homes are a big place for bed bugs. Also movie theaters. Oh, there's a bed bug. What was that bed bug? And herpes, sir. I saw that bed bug. <laughs> what was that? I accidentally hit start cam. I had Jake up on my OBS. Ugh. Why do you have Jake on your OBS? Uh, when we were going through when we were going through OBS before the show, I was just messing around on that. Uh, yep. See, Josh from New Jersey, I had PTSD from bed bugs. I I don't blame you. Like I said, I never felt like the bed bugs were completely gone until we had a complete house fire. That was the only time I felt safe about it. Quite honest, because when you get bed bugs, they come and they freeze them. We have a. In, in New York and New Jersey area, there's a commercial for, yo, where's Roscoe? Where's Roscoe? And it's this little beagle, little dog that sniffs out bed bugs. We did not need Roscoe because the bed bugs were visible. But uh, after they figure out that you have bed bugs, 
they have to treat each room twice and it's $500 a room. So it's really a thousand dollars a room. So it was like $4,000. We had to treat four rooms. And like I said, I never felt like the bed bugs were really gone. There was actually exact. Uh, there was a time uh, between the bed bugs and the house fire where I had a uh, job filming at a country club and I opened my laptop bag and there were hundreds of, of bed bugs in my laptop bag. Now this Ugh. was after we treated and I just freaked out. I threw the entire bag into a locker and I just walked out. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure that entire country club had a bed bug infestation. <laughs> and literally like a couple of weeks later, we had burning house down fire. houses and burn it down. Destroying yes. country clubs, man. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Giving a lot of ammo to John tonight. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, I'll never forget opening that bag and just seeing all sizes. There were big ones. There were little ones. If you want to know if you or your friends have bed bugs, check behind your bed on the uh, like the floorboard or like the baseboard. Don't you get bit if you have them? I was getting bit, but I had some people have no reaction. So how I found out was I ordered a new bed. And I was literally lying on that bed when they came to deliver my new bed. And the, I, I left my room and the guy came back. He was like, yo, man, we can't take this bed. And I was like, why, you lazy sack of shit? And he was like, because you got bed bugs, yo. And I was like, what? And he literally showed me and they were just crawling around the side of like the bed. They love Ugh. seams of mattresses, sir. Yes, the seams of the mattress. I go to the bed bug registry now when I go to hotels. I check every corner of the bed. Uh, don't put your bags on the bed. Never. Put your bags on a wood surface. Yeah, not even that. Your luggage that, rack, sir. That didn't work out for me when I did that. A luggage rack. Why? You got bed bugs too? No, I got pissed on. Yeah. Oh yeah, you're very you slow did. today, sir. You did get pissed on. I'm sorry. I'm stupid. We're gonna go late, so if anyone has to leave, just leave. Uh oh wait, Mom's we box. have a call. Uh, this is a call from Ray. Is this our Ray? Ray. <laughs> Hello, what's going on, Tukey, OJ, Cardiff? What's up, guys? We are fantastic. How are you, Raymond? I want to feel you deep inside of me. Gosh, I want to feel you deep inside of me. Gosh, I want to feel you deep God inside damn it, of me. God damn it, stop playing this. <laughs> right. What do you want to say, Ray? I just want to say you're all welcome that I saved Hackamania and sold three tickets today. Yes, congratulations. I did it. That is fantastic, Ray. That must I be a good feeling. It. This must be the total opposite yes, feeling. We're all going to be home crying. Yes, this is fantastic. What? This must be the opposite feeling that you were feeling yesterday when Melton kept yelling that you sold no tickets. Jeez. Uh, well, I sold three. Three is yeah. three more than zero. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Don't you feel better I, today? I thought they were going to cancel it. <laughs> yes, uh, I'm selling tickets out here. Where are you right now? Come on. Where are you? Cleveland, Ohio. Oh, I thought you had to drive um, I, I just left my... Uh, I No, I'm in Cleveland, Ohio. I just left my aunt's place, my Aunt Judy. Lovely Aunt Judy. Um, saw her, and now I'm heading home, and probably watch some netflix and go to bed oh you're gonna jerk that peen <laughs> do you do that to netflix do you do that <laughs> uh not to netflix but yes of course i uh i don't call it a bean it's a little bigger than a bean i said your peen it's uh oh peen i thought you said a bean i was like isn't that what they say to girls you're gonna flick that bean mm -hmm. would it be a no, daily? Uh, it a yeah is it a daily thing for you or, or a couple of times a week uh it's a it's a daily thing i do it i do it daily whoa i'm shocked it's, 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 i mean i exercise a lot when you but, yeah but i was just gonna ask uh, you that ray is it before or after you work out at planet fitness wait, shut up oj what was he gonna say wait it's because you exercise a lot what does that mean <laughs> I, I think it raises your testosterone, so it makes you like want to. Oh, you got to get it out of you. Oh, so Ray, you see all the out. hot guys in the it's gym while, while he's working out, it going into the shower. Now is I is anyone it. else shocked by this answer? 
No. <laughs> I'm shocked. But that's fantastic, Ray. Ray, promote your podcast. There are 700 and something people. I know people are going to be like, no, there's only 611. But uh, to, uh, promote your stuff. Uh, rock Bottom Podcast. Uh, come hang out with me sometime. Tukey's a man. Um, always happy to see you. OJ. He, OJ's okay. OJ's all right. So, have you uh, ever put fan. Have you ever put OJ down as an emergency contact for anything? I think I'm going to. That's fantastic. All right, Ray. Thank you for calling. I'm going. All right. I love you all more than a friend. All right. I love you more than a friend. And way to not promote hackamania.com promo code Cardiff. Ray. I just hit the beat for, for that Ray drop saying oh, he fantastic. loves us more than a friend. I love you more than a friend, Raymond. But yes, go to uh, hackamania.com promo code Ray. And uh, help Ray out. We're doing it. We are doing it. Why is it not playing? The head's probably, moving. Ray probably broke it, sir. Fuck, Ray. What is happening? Head. I literally did nothing. Let's try this one. Why are they not playing now? What the fuck is happening? Did you turn a channel off on your roadcaster or something? Uh, no, I have not. Is the audio on in OBS? Oh, you gotta fucking be kidding me. Uh, is it, it's not muted in OBS, is it? No, it's running on OBS. Like, I see it moving. Yeah, but that channel's not muted, is it? No, but it's also not. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. I might have just figured it out. We're doing it. The potato had nothing to do with it. I just figured it out. It was Ray. I'm Ralph, sir. Uh, let me try. <laughs> okay. Testing the new link. <laughs> okay, that worked. That that biker from uh, Stevie Tomatoes sure was a gentle lover. His mouth sure knew his way around a hemorrhoid. No kissing after. His breath smelled like copper. It's fantastic. Yes. I did have my pot down for that. Thank you, Ralph. Stupid. So stupid. It's okay, sir. That's why I'm here, sir. I just feel so stupid. Alicia, Alicia, y'all give me those Benjamins or or I'll kill all your dogs. Where's my drink? Dog uh Koreans love dogs. <laughs> there was an opster with the dog, eh? That was nice. You got your buddy Gino yelling at me. Someone I think someone's putting him in timeout and he's blaming me. Uh oh. Gino, I'm sure it's not OJ. My moderators are, uh, they like to have their own show going on in the chat. I will get down to the bottom of this and make sure. We got some rogue. We have some rogue moderators. You moderators. don't respect the, disrespect a man like Gino Bisconti. Right. In Tukey's chat. What are you people, crazy? You want to get me killed? Listen, Melton, uh, uh, potato, this cold sore on my lip was just about healed and you had to run your mouth to Hulku. I I let my guard down for a second and Sako, coconut right to my mouth. I owe you a mouthful of bloody chicklets, potato. It's fantastic. Threatening. He's threatening you. He's gonna kick Potato's your ass. never spoken to Haku. <laughs> Haku. Got a new windshield I flying through when my tire blows out while I'm driving drunk. It's fantastic. But if Brennan's wife had a furry green puppet, what would her catchphrase be? Haku, Haku? I guess so. <laughs> Did Ray ever fix his tire? Has he talked about that? No, but he fixed his windshield today. What? Instead of his tire, yes. He could have lived with the windshield being cracked, but yeah, you know, take your chances on a, a bum tire. It's pretty. Oh, we should have talked to him about the tire. I forgot to. Damn it. As a fellow criminal in POS... I found out that Trailer Park Joe, a.k.a. Frog, is a kid diddler. No. He has a record miles long. <laughs> yep. Shuli steals joke and idea. Also <laughs> hires Pedo's kid diddlers. I, too, diddle kids. No, stop <laughs> it. Wait, hold on. Can you put that one back up? Yeah. It's going to play the whole thing again. Oh. Well, I can As pause a fellow it. criminal in P.O. What do you want? Well, if Shuli's hiring Pedo's kid diddlers, isn't that like... If he's only oh, the kids. Pedo's kids. 
Yes, the kids of pedophiles. It's almost kind of like see? just to serve. Yes. See? What is <laughs> taste of your own medicine? Your own medicine. Yes, I understand completely. <laughs> um that's fantastic. WSX, thank you for the five dollars. Hello, gents. First super tip. Did you clip the smug skull from the stuttering buffoon show earlier this week? Cardiff can add it to his collection. No, I think I missed the I didn't listen like Monday, probably Sunday too, if he was on. Do you know what he's talking about as far as I know as there's the... a smug skull drop out there, but uh, I think uh, I think Shuley's I mean, Julie's yeah. got that one somewhere. In the, the week, it's still in the early, we're still early in the week. Oh, Yesterday was the eclipse. Today, uh, yeah. We'll we'll get into more John for our Saturday show, I'm sure. Quadfather has a little dabbler gossip, apparently. Quadfather, what is your dabbler gossip? Uh, many times I show up backstage to go on Ray's show. Uh, I hear ladies screaming in the background. Mm-hmm. And I also have caught him jerking off multiple times when I they usually usually when we're running late, it's because he, he needs to what he says release the demon. Oh no, how dare you? Ray, I hope that's not true. It's disgusting. It probably is, sir. Let's just face it. All right. We had Joey C as one of our super uh tippers, our super grifters before. And that's fantastic because I actually have some Joey C clips. This is from a show, not yesterday, but I think the day before. Oh no, it was after it was after our uh super chat, super tips, super grift, spectacular. Mm. That's what what was that? Sunday? Yes, sir. So this is has have Joey and Cabby spit it done, out, sir. Have Joey and Cabby done a show together? Yeah, like, they did they did a bunch of shows. Oh, they did. They did. Yeah. Okay. Cause I thought did they have an opening? They did. Okay. So I have that opening because I thought, I was like, wow, this is crazy. Like he added Cabby and stuff to his opening. So I was kind of confused because I was like, what is happening here? (laughs) Yeah, no, they actually did have a, uh, they were streaming together for a little bit. So I won't play, I won't play, uh, I won't play that one. I thought he was trying to Opie the situation. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Because that's something Opie would do. He's killed more co-hosts than Opie has this year though, sir. Yes. It's very true. At least one that we know of. All right, here's him talking. April, about, sir. Here's him talking about people in uh, our chat being assholes. Fucking pathetic. Are some of them fucking people in fucking El Horrible's chat room? What? Are they fucking insanely nuts? Uh, I physically met, hung out with Dr. Steve. I hung out with El Horrible. Do they really fucking think they're going to get people to hate on me that fucking physically met me? And know what a guy was, and that WATP was a lot about me. What I mean, once I got there, the party started. That's a fucking truth. <laughs> you could ask the people that were there. Everybody wanted to talk Sir. to me. I sw- yes, this is true. WATP was talking a lot about Joey. What, what I had it? heard was, "Can somebody shut Joey up? Yes. I have a show to get ready for. Well, I will." Tell Joey Z to stop messaging me. Yes, I will definitely say that things did definitely get crazy once Joey got to Largo because I think uh, Cardiff, uh, if he was here, he can even attest to that. I started getting text messages from Joey C literally two minutes before the show's starting or, well, the meet and greet's supposed to start, complaining that they won't let him in to the meet and greet even though he's talent. Melton, this is what you're going to expect in fucking Vegas. But yeah, he was very upset because they wouldn't let him into the meet and greet originally. But, you know, Joey didn't understand that it was two separate events. But Joey didn't care because Joey did not see himself as an audience member. Joey was part of the show because Carl said, hey, 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 we might bring you on stage. (laughs) if We have enough time. (laughs) I don't know. (laughs) And uh, so that was Joey's cue of I'm part of the show. (laughs) So Melton. I heard Joey's call. Did you guys hear Joey call into Melton today? No, I missed that. So Joey wanted to talk to Melton. Melton, 
I need to talk to you privately about the event. And Melton's like, well, I'm just giving you a $100 free ticket. Like, that's my only part. Like, that's it. Come to Vegas and you have entrance into Hackamania. The end. And he's like, no, 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 no. You're not going to treat me like a guest. You're not going to treat me like an audience member. You're not going to treat me like an audience member. I'm not B-class. I'm A-class. <laughs> so I don't, like, Joey is already starting to pull the same shit that he was pulling in Largo. He's part of the show. He is not an audience member. Joey is a peer of all of us. Remember that, stupids. <laughs> but, yeah, this is going to be interesting if Joey actually gets to Vegas. And he keeps saying he has a room. How does he have Because he wants $700 for flights. But then everyone's like, what about a room? He's like, ah, don't worry about it. I, I know people. I got a room. I got a room. Does he? Stole the fucking whole floor, okay? Why do you want to talk to me? I stole the fucking whole floor, okay? So I humbly say that. So v- Vegas is working on getting a baseball team, sir. So maybe he's got some. Oh, jock straps to wash. Oh, they probably need a sock washer. That's fantastic. But yeah, that's a fantastic. At the same time that he says everyone wanted to see him and he stole the show, he says he I humbly st- reports that. He said he stole the floor. What would he take the rugs out of the place? Yes. Joey can't afford a floor at his apartment anymore. Collections actually came and took the floor away. So Joey actually took some of the floor from the theater in Largo to replace his other floor alicia jordana is 41 okay that makes sense confirmed yay she's older than tukey yeah thank you truth seeker knows life mm-hmm, mm-hmm. i mean once i got to the party started that's a fucking truth you could ask the people that were there everybody wanted to talk to me i stole the fucking whole floor okay <laughs> so i humbly say that so these haters what you pack your fucking suitcases up and go go you lost months ago like i told you go away mm-hmm, mm-hmm. did you know dg will be at hackamania no i didn't either until joey mentioned it and he's just there to make sure that joey doesn't get himself in trouble this is fantastic no sir Yes. I, I know you don't have a marketing degree like Carl. No. But you think DG going to the Hackamania is going to help sell any tickets? Yes. That's why I mentioned it. Oh, because DG bought a ticket? I don't know. DG, if you haven't gotten a ticket yet, promo Hackamania.com, code. promo code Cardiff. And no, then Tukey. Code. And then Tukey. Yeah, type in Cardiff so it annoys Melton, and then put Tukey in so you get your 20% off your ticket. Yes. Because he knows what's going to fucking happen when certain people fucking going to act stupid. He just knows me. So he's going to keep me professional. That's what this is about. It's about being professional with the people that are, with the podcast is the biggest show for me to be professional and get ahead with the fans. Otherwise, it would be a fucking shit show. Because I ain't John. I don't talk. I don't fucking talk. I don't fucking talk. I'm not John stuttering John Melendez the bitch. Oh, oh, John can't talk either, Joey. I mean, I can barely talk. But uh, yeah, so he's uh, he's saying, listen, this isn't just words. Joey C is a man of action, but he's also a professional. Oh, wait, what is something popping up? It's probably a boner, sir. Yes. Uh Oh, no, I just never took that one away, I guess. I just noticed it was still there. We're doing it. <laughs> if you must know, Tookie, I, I uh, flick my peen every day after I work out. But I can't hit the goal unless I'm naked, wrapped in a fuzzy pink blanket with a finger in my chin. Sometimes I get so into it, uh, I knock my bobbleheads off my dresser. <laughs> if you must know, Tookie, I... I uh, Flick my peen every day after I work out. What is that noise it makes in the beginning? (laughs) If you must, is that like a sneeze? I guess so, but why would it do that? Even AI knows Ray is ill. Yes, (laughs) always just something off. (laughs) One more time. I just want to hear it one more time. (laughs) 
<laughs> if you must, <laughs> yeah, it definitely sounds like a sneeze. Very weird. Help! Adam left, but left me alone with Dakari. He didn't teach me how to click my tongue, so my wife understands me. Tuck, tuck, tuck. Back down, Dakari. I'll help you, KB. Once I take my fingers out of Greta, say hello oh. to tonight's baby eclipse. All right, so uh, before we get back to Joey C, apparently John is saying that his big family news was not that there is a pregnancy. Oh, yeah. But that his nephew is getting married? I, I think, think it's that. the same nephew that's been helping him. I don't believe that. I think it's something with his immediate family. But what do I know? I know nothing. So uh, before we get back to Joey Say, Big Blackie, how are you? Hey, that sounds racist to call me Big Blackie. Remember when he used to call you Big Blackie? Like yeah, in the beginning, because um, I was just a new caller. Yeah, yeah, you couldn't remember your name. I, I used to love that. I don't know why. What's up, Big Black? I want to say, man, I, I was sorry. I just missed um, getting on. I want to see if you could put me on a three-way with um, Ray DeVito, because I was the one that Wait. kind of instigated um, um, Kevin, uh, what you call it, Melton saying that Ray had three um, sales. Uh, yeah, I think I can. Um, shit, where did they go? Usually it keeps the calls... And I sure, can that would re that would require you to bring Ray Devito back on, sir. Yes, that is fine. That uh, cool. <laughs> Ray Devito, call back in. Uh, I don't know how. But um, yeah, I was I was lucky that I did that. Yes, yes, that was some good uh, material for everyone. I'll text him too. What did you do? Are you still using well, VCRs? Kind of well, black. <laughs> no, no more. I, I wasn't trying to find a way. Like I was going to ask OJ. I know he was talking about how. Some soundboards are used to, to put um, audio through to calls. So, like now that um, everything's by computer, can you still use a soundboard and put it through to a, a, a cell phone? Through a cell phone, a soundboard? Yeah, why not? How do you do it? about that? I mean, I used to do that back in the day. You just hold your phone up to wherever the speaker is, and there you go. <laughs> Yeah, but nowadays with the new cell phones with the, you know the little micro um, earpieces and so on, you can't really like clamp it on real tight like I used to do. Can you guys do this offline? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Do we have to do this on the show? Can you guys <laughs> okay. talk to each other after? <laughs> mm -hmm. What else? What I want to say, uh, OJ, I've been listening to your show oh, on cool. uh, Sundays, and you do a great job. Hey, thanks. Um, also, I want to say that it's, it's weird that a lot of people in this um, Dabbleverse are egomaniacs like Joey. Seems like he's the most capable guy in the Dallaverse. And then John feels like he's the most capable guy. Brandon feels he's the most capable guy. Everybody feels like they're number one. Mm -hmm. You don't weird. think you don't think Joey is capable and number one? <laughs> of course not, man. He doesn't realize how he's getting trolled. Um, they show how they're, they're, they're constantly trolling him. He doesn't realize it. He, he, he's, he's, he's missing a few um, you know, nuts in his, his um, head. But um, mm -hmm. I feel good for him, though, because um, he's, he's entertaining. What are your thoughts on the whole Elisa Jordana situation? Oh yeah, I saw that. Um, I saw Vince was playing that for me today, and um, that was crazy, man. She's probably going to go to do some time. Oh, well, if this is her first offense, she'll probably just get um probation. But she's definitely going to get, I think, some time on probation. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, who knows? Who cares? That's what I, that's what Judy <laughs> says. She sucks. All right. Well, I waited long enough for yeah. Ray. Uh, Big Black. Big black Newport on Venmo. If any, does anyone ever send you money? I got money three times so far. Oh. One of them was from Stevie Lou, so I'd like to thank Stevie Lou again. Oh, that's crazy. Stevie Lou, doesn't Stevie Lou need money? It's crazy. <laughs> yeah, I got some loony money. Yes. Okay. All, All right. right. But thanks a lot for your help, though. Thank you. Thank Big you, black Big out. Black. Big Black out. Love you more than a friend. There he goes. My call screener is telling me to keep Big Black on for another minute, but would have been Big Black, if uh, what'd you say? That would have been better information to have a minute ago. No, I mean I had it, but I was waiting. But it doesn't seem like Ray's calling back. If Ray calls back, maybe we'll try to get them back on together. But flaky Ray, huh? Flaky Ray. Listen, I can't be 
a love connection for these two homos. Yeah, when I first heard him say a three-way, I was a little nervous. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, here's... Uh... Are you thought oh. you were going to get the Lucky Pierre position? <laughs> what is that? Where did Lucky we learn Pierre. Lucky Pierre? Yeah, that was the guy in the middle. Uh, that's from Dr. Oh, Steve. That's right. Dr. Steve. Yeah. That was the guy in the middle of a three-guy orgy. Or threesome, yeah. I guess. So that's the guy getting it in the mouth and the butt. Lucky Pierre. Still don't think he's the lucky one in that scene. He seems very lucky. All right, here's uh, Joey again. This is Joey explaining that he was very professional in Largo. Because he knows what's going to fucking happen. With oh, wait, no, that's the wrong one. Uh, oh, we already played that. Uh, here's where Joey explains that Mrs. C could kick all our asses, and I actually agree with him. Yeah, I don't even have to fucking... My wife could fucking whip all these motherfuckers' ass by herself. Guarantee you that. I just got to sit back and laugh. Let her do her fucking work. She'll fucking knock the fuck out of most of you fucking men in here. And then uh, Joey lets uh, a beloved chatter know that he's not mad at everyone. God damn it. Where'd it go? I'm telling you, enough's a fuck enough. Well, Fearless, you're getting an autograph. I promised you an autograph. <laughs> He's so funny. He's like, yes, I will give you an autograph, no matter what. I know I'm a very busy man, but not too busy to give an autograph to my fans. Joey's the best. He's great. Uh, okay, here's Ian Hawk calling Joey while he's on the air. And, of course, Joey is very happy that his friend is calling him. That fucking move. Do you think I'm that fucking stupid, DiCaprio? Huh? Yeah, fuck you, Ian Hawk. <laughs> Piece of shit, Ian Hawk calling. That motherfucker. Ian, I hope you are listening. Because if you do show up, do not come to try to shake my hand. Uh oh Make sure you're coming to fucking swing. <laughs> That's my promise to your bitch ass. You, you, I owe. You, I need to stop in the fucking ground. If I owe anybody an ass whooping, it's you. That's a fact. That DG is going to make sure that that don't happen because he don't want me going to jail. And I will go to jail because I won't stop on your ass. Fantastic. Jesus Christ. Tacomania. Ladder match. A fake I'll, foot match. I'll fight Joey C's wife. At really? Hacomania, sir. Yes. In a cage? I think I could take her. You might need a cage. I'm telling you, man. She didn't squeeze the shit out of your hand. But still, I have a defense for that, sir. I've had army colonels shake my hands with less aggression. Uh, all right. So, Ian Hawk, don't even think about coming to Hackamania because you're upsetting the talent. Well, unless DG is there. If Ian Hawk shows up with DG, then there will be no violence. Uh-oh. No, there might, though. If Ian Hawk shows up with DG? Yeah, because DG will keep Joey C from... Yeah, but Joey C's going to flip his shit if he comes with Ian Hawk. But not if DG's there. Remember, Ian is the man who said he was going to rape his kid's wife. Whatever that means. Uh, here's Joey explaining that he is just going to AC. I thought that was a good thing, sir. Why do I always say AC? Oh, yeah. Because aren't his grandkids black? So if he raped them white, they'd have a much better opportunity at life, Joey. Think about this. Do you understand how many young black kids are ostracized mm -hmm. and not given the same opportunities as kids who are raped white? So this is actually a great opportunity for you, Joey, that Ian would offer his services mm -hmm. to rape your black grandkids white. Too could, we send, could we send glass half full? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Could we send Ian Hawk to the border? Yes. For what? Which border? The bad border, sir. <laughs> oh, the Canadian one. Yeah. No, the the worst border. Oh, the Mexican one. Yes. Yes, yes we can. He could rape all the Mexicans, Venezuelan. Isn't that a little whiter? That would be Mexican, thing, sir. I think he could. I think he could go all the way to uh, Puerto Rican, sir. If 
Daniel Carver was here and he had the opportunity to rate Mexicans, Venezuelans, and Puerto Ricans, would Mexican be at the bottom? Would that be the worst? Yeah, he did not like Mexicans. Yeah, they were somewhere. I remember when he did it on Butt Bongo Fiesta, it was kind of surprising. I think Jew was at the bottom because Jew is the devil. Jew was the worst, yeah. Right? There's nothing. And blacks yeah, weren't that bad because he, right. he looked at them as animals. They weren't people. Right. Oh, God. That's that was... <laughs> hey, that's him, so, not me. So open-minded. Uh, YouTube, just remember, those are the uh, express written consent or the uh, ideas of an actual KKK member and not OJ. So please don't uh, take down my channel. Thank you. Because I, think, that. I think Italians were on the list as well. Well, they should be. Uh, I I know the G word for Asians was on there. I don't remember if Italians was possibly. Um, all right. So here is Joey explaining that he is going to uh Vegas not to be a, an audience member, but he is going there to hang out with all his peers. These idiots. When they try to interfere with something that I'm trying to do for the good of everything, and they want to fucking talk shit to Dr. Steve. Dr. Steve loves us, so there's no way you're changing him on us. El Haribe loves us. No matter how much he bounces on me, so does Carter. You ain't going to change them. You understand that, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You fucking understand that, don't you? No matter what you send them, no matter what you do, you're not going to get them to hate on me. Mm -hmm. You'll get them to goof on me, but you're not going to hate me and do any stupid shit like that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I have to I have to agree with Joey there. We would never do stupid shit. We just goof on Joey. It's fantastic. Oh every, every email he sent in the last 48 hours seems to be counter to what he just said, sir. But yes. Now he's uh looking to dox everyone for some reason. Or what what was his emails lately? I don't know what you're talking about, actually. I just said yes to keep the conversation going. Yes, and yes, and uh, what was the last one, sir? What did he do? Looking, sir. Oh, I have some late breaking uh, dabbler gossip. I was told by a close friend who I trust that Big J Okerson mentioned corn diff on the bonfire today. Corn diff. Corn diff. Out of everyone, he what? mentioned What's... corn diff. I'm working on confirmation, sir. And oh, for that? Yes, sir. Uh, and I, I, I asked, I was like, really? Corn diff? Are you sure you didn't say Cardiff? And he said, I definitely heard corn diff. So if anyone can get that clip, that would be great. I'm assuming it was from today's bonfire. I know that my friend who is the source is a huge bonfire fan. And Big J, we know you're out there. Call in, you son of a bitch. Now, Let's what talk I'm Ronnie predicting. Says. Yes. I do believe that uh, the eclipse, a tweet from uh, Greg Opie Hughes towards Robert Kelly on the eclipse. Yes. Uh, started a bit of a feud on Twitter. Yes. I believe that Opie uh, told Robert Kelly to stop jumping rope or something yes. like that. Oh, yes. The earthquake, not the eclipse. That would be hacks or. Oh, for the earthquake. So possibly they made a comment that Opie was only funny. <laughs> When he was streaming oh. with the corn. I'm hoping, I'm really hoping that that's what it is. That would be fantastic. I really want to hear this clip. So if anyone does have the clip, get it out to us. And uh, we would love you, JT. Yes, looking at you, JT. Always looking at you. Uh, okay. Now, we all know. Actually, let me play this one. This is uh, Joey explaining that he's just like us, the other content creators, not you, you know, regular people in the audience. Fucking guys are stupid. I am a podcaster just like them. I got a show just like them, over 600 fucking videos. And you guys are just douchebags. For some reason, Joey seems to think that the more videos you put out matters. Yes, sir. Like... It doesn't matter if all those videos have 40 views. The fact that you at least put out 600 videos with 40 views <laughs> means that you're wonderful? I, I don't know. 
the ideal algorithm for YouTube, sir, is to have 1 million views and also have 1 million videos at the same time. That's, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that's really what YouTube is looking for. Yes, I guess so. Because, yes, he's very proud of his 600 videos. Eggs. Because you're jealous. Jealous. You can't stand the The other thing is you want me to mention your name. I went back and listened to older shit, and I caught fucking the, the one Brit guy. I just want, I, I know tonight's here. Or the other, say my name. I ain't saying shit. I ain't fed you guys nothing and won't. And the newest idiot from the Dabbleverse who yeah. tried to get out with Ray last night, you got no shot. Who's that? I you are know. shit. What was that? Uh, uh, did a, maybe uh, maybe this next clip. I don't know. I don't know who he's talking about there. Maybe uh, this next clip will help us figure out the mystery. You can talk all the smack you want. It don't matter. I don't give a fuck. You understand that, right? I don't give a fuck. Obviously. Anything you say about my daughters, about my wife, we don't give a fuck. Because we know you be, would never tell any of us into our face. We know that much. We know you're that much of a coward. Wait, but El Haribe said it to your face when people paid him $2 to ask the question. That's true. Does that count? So it's kind of like they said it to your face. They just had El Haribe say it. But uh, I don't know. I don't know who he was talking about. I think someone was trying to get on. Maybe someone had the link. And they were trying to get into uh the oh you know i right. think carl if he's carlos was sending links out i think it may have been um oh yeah turbs turbs oh, mcgurk there you go i don't know mm. i wasn't watching uh but of all the crazy things that joey c says turbs mcgurk confirmed from carlos danger it was turbs mm. now joey might say some crazy things some off the wall banter, some real cuckoo nutty bird shit. But I think we can all agree on what Joey is about to say in this next clip. And I already proved how much of a bitch kinky local is. Mm -hmm. There's the biggest bitch I've ever met in my 58 years of living. Say it. The biggest bitch I've ever met in the 30, 58 years of living. Say the it. biggest fucking coward I've ever come across in my life is that dude right there. A punk came in all badass with all his boys. Yep. The punk right next to me wouldn't even fucking tell me it was him. That's how much of a chicken shit piece of shit he is. <laughs> okay, that's a fact. That's hilarious. Okay, that's a fact. He was a chicken-hearted motherfucker. Mm -hmm. He couldn't even fucking say who he was. He's man enough to talk shit in the chat room, but he ain't man enough to fucking say who he is. Say it, Joey. He walked past me all big and bad with his boys. Mm -hmm. We knew who the fuck he was. Running your little fucking mouth underneath the breath. Mm -hmm. He knew it. And the one that one that fucking clocked me a couple times, I pray you're fucking there. Because if you do it again, we're gonna have a problem. Wait, what? The one who clocked him a couple times, or cocked him? Did someone rub their cock on Joey? It did sound. He said, "Sounded like he said clocked." You see, you see, Ray. These are the kind of people that Kinky Loco rolls with. Guys who just rub their cocks on Joey C's arm or something. Let's listen to that again. I thought he said cocked. <laughs> To the guy who cocked me. Boys. We knew who the fuck he was. Running in little fucking mouths underneath the breath. And the one that one that fucking clocked me a couple times, I pray you're fucking there. Because if you do it again, we're going to have a problem. I have no idea what he said. <laughs> clocked? That's what it sounded like. I know Cardiff teabagged him. Yes. I don't, I don't know if he cocked <gasps> him, though. I believe he jerked off in his hair. Yeah, mm. well, you almost cocked him. All right, here is uh count how many times Joey C says the word work. It's a little game. It's fantastic. We're doing it. But, Ray, I can't tell you the word. If they asked you, Ray, this is the word, but don't tell nobody about the word. Would you tell them about the word? It's like, I can't tell you what the work was because they asked me to tell anybody about the work. So why would I tell you about the work, Ray? You understand the work's the work, but you got to work to work it. You understand? That's the whole thing, Ray. You got to understand that, buddy. I, I, you're my friend. I'm looking forward to meeting you finally. It's fantastic. I, I counted 11. It sounds like Ray's about to have another best friend. You have some competition, OJ. <laughs> can't wait to meet Ray. Everyone can't meet to Ray, meet Ray. At hackamania.com. 
Get your tickets, promo code Tukey or Ray. Let's help Ray. But yes, everyone come out to Hackamania. We're all going to hang out. A lot of shows, entertainment. I don't know anything about the venue. I feel I heard we don't have a venue any at all now. No, yes, we do. As far as I know, it's still at the old venue. I haven't heard yeah. anything otherwise. But if we don't sell more tickets, you're going to force us to get a bigger venue. Uh-oh, what's about to happen? What are you doing, Ralph? Just do it already. I saw <laughs> everything change. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> what? I don't know what you're talking about, sir. Uh, but yeah, uh, hackamania.com for tickets. Promo code 2K. 2K. Uh, all right. Uh, there's one more Joey clip, and then we'll do everyone's favorite part of the show. Again, Joey C has said so many crazy things. There is one thing when Joey says when Joey C says it doesn't sound so crazy to Tukey. I think we can all agree again on what Joey C has to say. Congrats on getting unbanned on <laughs> Jerry got unbanned. I don't know who was my I think probably was a uh probably was a kinky local. Who is the biggest coward of them all? That, 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 you're a true coward when you when you when you try to punk somebody online mm-hmm. and talk a big game and then you're right next to them and can't even tell them. I'm the motherfucker that's talking shit. You were talking shit to me. You want to talk about this? Mm-hmm. No, he sat there like a little scared rat right next, right next to me. There he is. There that he is, is a tall coward. I was still playing. I thought it was done. Yes, he's a coward. Kinky Loco not only is the most handsome dabbler of all the dabblers, he is the most cowardly of all the dabblers. I don't know. He's put on some weight, sir. Who, Kinky or Joey? Kinky. Well, Joey as well, but Kinky, sir. Really? I thought Kinky looked fantastic. He looked better little, than ever. A little thick around the middle, sir. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Did not pay attention. I'm just trying right. to nag him, sir. Yes. All right, let's do everyone's favorite part of the show. The Super Chats. It's fantastic. Tim Bollinger, five bucks. I was very drunk Sunday when I was talking to Dr. Steve about my fistula in my butt. Didn't mean to let everyone know I want him to look at my butt. Yeah, but we're going to do that on stage. Can we still do that? Or are you not drunk enough to agree to that yet? We're going to have to have you sign some kind of form that says we can look at or we can have Dr. Steve look at your butt on stage. So, yes, Tim, we would love to have Dr. Steve look at your uh, anal fistula. John Naj, member for four months. Do this goes to the goal? Skull, love you more than a friend. Yes, it do. No, it do not, actually. No, no it, it do, do not. not. It do not. Brian Clowder, member for nine months. How many more times can you reprimand Ralph? Oh, I hate doing it. But sure. it also kind of turns me on a little bit. Yes. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. I love when you say thank you, sir. Uh, Daniel Poon or Poonie as we call him $2 Tukey delivers the best non-tent in the biz T-W-O yes this is all non-tent we're staying away from the John tent if you notice the last couple of shows we give a little you know we talk about him a little bit but since there's potato soup because John's brain is like potato soup that's how the song goes sir I yes I don't feel the need to cover John I think it's enough but I do like to bring up when he brings up Rocco or Tukey or Cardiff or Melton. Fatty Patty. I think it's a healthier to just, you know, mention them, bring them up, maybe show a clip here and there, but not cover them like crazy. I mean, Jesus. Shuli does like two shows a day on him. You can get your John fix, or then you can just listen. I don't know how you do potato soup. I literally get angry when I listen to his show now. Like, I'm so angry with the crap the same shit just over and over again and just like and not only that to be cardiff will listen to the political shows which are even worse the only ones that aren't repetitive sir it's getting harder Mm -hmm. and harder and harder it's i think i need i need john to go i cardiff needs john to go back into some sort of uh obscurity Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and he needs to think we all forgot about him Next Tukey, next Tukey Soup, we're going to look at some Wyatt Karam 
uh, clips. Oh, the uh, son. Yes, uh, Brian. Oh, Brian. Son, yes. Who fancies himself a comedian? He actually had an office type sitcom a couple of years ago that he did online. Very diverse cast. It's fantastic. He must have listened to his dad when he was booking or casting the show. I need an Indian. I need a black girl. I need a white girl and a ginger guy and an Asian and an Eskimo and Australian mate. No, sir. It's literally like everything. It's the, all the colors of the rainbow. Yes. Sir, uh, I thought you were scrapping that bit on account of the uh, comedians in cars watching wrestling oh, debacle. Yeah. Oh, that's right. A little hypocritical of you, sir. I'm so embarrassed. No, I'm going to uh, chug along. And we're going to watch some clips from this horrible, horrible show that Brian Karam's son, Wyatt Karam, put together. Now, I give him credit. It looks good. I mean, it, it's like a 12-minute little sitcom thing. But it is not funny. And now, That's listen, true. Tukey has been a part of a lot of not funny productions. But this is Wyatt Karam not part of a funny production. So we're going to talk about it. Yes. Sir, the potato sent me uh, uh, some breaking news. Someone just fall? Yes, what? The potato just sent me some breaking news, sir. Yes. Uh, this Sunday, sir. Spy report. Spy oh, report. Yes. Uh, there will be no potato soup. He's starting his new oh. show where he uh, trashes Melton. Oh, no. It's going to be called Hippocritical. Oh, no. <laughs> I was like, oh, no. Here we go. Onion soup? But I think he had onion soup yesterday. Hippocritical. I think the potato is going to criticize <laughs> Melton, sir. Oh, you're a monster. <laughs> Why will, well, when will this feud end? Will this feud ever end? But in all the years that Chad was feuding with Melton, not once did he come up with hypocritical <laughs> oh, as a show. <laughs> it was so easy. Oh, American Cupcake, $2. Joey C made jockstrap soup in the locker room. Yes. <laughs> jockstrap soup. The taste, the taste, the taste is going to move. Yeah. Dusty Settle member for two months. Nick Ricada is an up and coming low cow spiraling. Is he? Who is Nick Ricada? I know he's the guy that uh, April and Aaron, you know, use his hot tub. They're like, can we come over and play in your hot tub? He's like, sure. Come on over. But I don't know who he is. Is he? A, he's a streamer. I think he's an attorney, isn't he? Nick Ricada, Ricada and Karn, Ricada and Cohen. No, I don't know. Yeah, he's he? a lawyer. Yeah, he's a lawyer. Going live at eleven Central. Trump on Jews and blacks and abortions. Yay! On Rumble. That's fantastic. Maybe With, something there. Oh yes, well, I guess we'll have to watch that. Mars member for five months. I love you, Tuki. I love you, Mars. Oh, and if you love hack rides. Uh, Shuli Haka Haka song, Boom Shakalaka. <laughs> Stay tuned to the very end of this show and all future Tuki Soup episodes. It's fantastic. The Ghetto Basement, thank you for the 99 cent super sticker. Appreciate it very much. Uh, Skull and Roses 321, member for seven months. Has Dalton Pruitt, he's Dalton Pruitt, was an up and comer in LOS world. Oh, so the guy that Kevin Brennan had on his show was Dalton Pruitt. Was an up-and-comer in the LOS world. Does that mean he's, he's not any he's, he's a what? He's obviously been discarded. Yes. Is he a comic? I mean, he wasn't very funny. Has any comedian on MLC <laughs> ever been funny, sir? No, I guess not. Uh, Ray, said, Ray just sent me a message that he tried to call in and it failed. So I don't know if something's wrong with the phone. Oh, because I have other people on. Oh, fuck. I keep forgetting to get to people. Uh, Red, you're on the air. Yeah. Uh, let me premise this by saying I don't want anyone to die. Um, That's good. But. Uh, Except. Yeah, so, didn't, so Joey. Well, the thing is that, you know, Joey was recently in the hospital and you're just showing that he's, you know, spurring out on his podcast and probably getting his heart rate up a bunch. You know, we have John who's likely dying of a variety of different potential illnesses, including whatever the fuck's going on in his asshole. Um, we have, you know, uh, 
Ray, who has gout, is an alcoholic, and uh, is basically like Mr. Glass. And then, you know, we have Chad, who we know is having constant shakes and likely will be dead mm -hmm. soon, too. So why don't we have a Dabbleverse Deadpool going right now? We did present that a while ago, but I think people thought it was too morbid. But if you want to start one, let's go. Let's start it. I got money. Let's put some bets. Let's go, okay. chat. But yeah, we did. Uh, we talked about All this right. a while ago. And I was taking, uh, I had Joey C for the longest time. But uh, I think there are people who are going to go before Joey C. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm. All right. Who okay. do you got? Who well, do you got? Sorry for the dark thoughts, but. Who do you got? I it's got to it's it's got to be Chad. Interesting. It's got to be Chad because he's just like so much more shaky and everything else. And I don't know. I don't think he has the delusional self esteem that John does. Because mm -hmm. John's just going to keep drunken optimism going to to keep his heart moving. This is true. Anyway, Red, thank you for the call. I love you more than a friend. I'm sorry I forgot okay. that I had callers and you were on hold for so long. Okay, you're fine. All right, I don't care either. I just wanted to be nice. Love you more than a friend. <laughs> uh, Stuttering John? Is this the real Stuttering John? Hey, everybody. How are you? Oh, we're fantastic. How are you, Stuttering John? Why would do we owe the pleasure of this call? Yay! Yes, <laughs> yes, yes there's, Ralph. There's only one way to test if it's the real Stuttering John. What is that? Your mom's box. Oh, yeah. Hey, John, your mom's box. It's all John and my own in ocean. <laughs> what? John, I said your mom's box. What? Yes. It's the real John. Oh, did you hear that? That was his laptop. That was the sound. I don't that... live in Orlando. I'm in I do not live in Orlando, John. You know that. I am in Florida. Oh, you are. What are you doing in Florida? Making These more fucking assholes make fun of my child. Yes, yes, we do. I'm sorry, John. I will apologize now. I'm sorry that you're embarrassed. You done fucked up, but yes, I did. <laughs> I did fuck up. I said I'm sorry to you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to the audience. Travel in the hospital. <laughs> the soundboard community has infiltrated the yeah, devil verse. Americans. No, Christianity is, is not. Christianity only for Americans? No, it is not only for Americans. It's for mm -hmm. everyone. Heaven is only for Americans, sir. Yes. Me personally, I don't recommend owning a gun for anybody. Well, that's because you're a big pussy and uh, you're afraid of guns. Are you afraid of chainsaws and what? All other kinds of tools as well. Big puss. What? My guns have been lying around for years. They've never shot anyone. It's amazing how that works. But anyway, but yes. now let me just get a sip of my zero Mountain Dew. All right. Goodbye, John. Thank you for calling in. Mark wants to call in. Mark, how are you? You're just fine. How are you? Oh, I'm fantastic. What do you want to talk about? Right on. I was going to ask. Uh, Two questions, your favorite Lagwagon album, and, well, answer that first. Uh, does does the answer to question one have an effect on question two? No. Come on. No. You uh, can ask both questions. I like uh, Making Friends, and then I also really like the Live in a Dive album. I really like that. I know that's a, a bad answer, but I think uh, Making Friends. Or no, wait, no, wait, that's not the no. or uh no, what's the one with the girl? It's not making friends. Double oh talk about feelings. The girl the braces. Yeah, was it talk about feelings yeah. or something? That's incredible. Yeah. That's a really, really good one. Yeah, I think that's the one. And I'm a big I'm a big fan of double platinum. It's pretty good too. Yes, that is uh an excellent album. What was your second question? How how great will it be that all these people are saying, oh, it won't sell out in Hackamania. It, it's going to be good. They have it will work to. out. Yes, it's going to be amazing. These, these, these events are only growing and growing and growing. Mm -hmm. 
And there's a there's a whole thing that's happening where like some people say, oh, they, they don't want them to happen, but they're they're happening, and all this is growing. Yes, no, Frederick John aside, you know what I mean by that? Like it's like it's, there's a whole the community going on, and it's a good thing. It is, but no, they. So have I'm excited to. about it. I support you. Appreciate it. Yeah. I appreciate awesome. it. Thank you for your call, Mark. I appreciate it, man. But no, they have to. They have to say that it's going to be a disaster because that's what we say about all their events or things they plan, and they always end up being a disaster. Except for the AC trips. that Those seem to be fine, but again, that's not, not actually an event. an event. It's not an event. It's just saying, hey, let's go hang out in AC. Who doesn't like hanging out in AC? But yeah, I mean, they have to say that it's going to be shit. I mean... I, I mean, there's rumors that Chad has literally not sold any tickets to his shows this weekend. And, I mean, how much more of a disaster could that be? He he says he didn't even know he had the shows until, like, recently. So, of course, they have to talk about how much this is going to be crap. Because I mean, anything they try to do is crap. This is all crap. <laughs> even Hackamania is going to be crap. But it's going to be fun crap. Everything's crap. Look who we are. You're talking to a green puppet. It's fantastic. We're doing it. Poor little Jew boy. Thought he was a coon. Oh, Jesus. Hi, John Melendez, a.k. Stuttering John from the Howard Stern Show and The Tonight Show with Jay Leno. I'm a racist. Big Black's a dumb nigar. Never liked that guy when I answered <laughs> phones for Howard Stern. God damn it. Money! You're, you're, you're... You really did turn off that uh, hate speech thing, huh? I did! <laughs> There's no hate speech, Modi! <laughs> you better get this fixed, Modi. Uh, all right, there's one more uh, on this side. Hey, dabble bus. My mom needs food. Please send her food. You know what to do. You know what to do. No. I am a deadbeat. I didn't pay child support to force my ex-wife to accept less money. I also kicked them out of the house that I wasn't even paying for. I missed my fingers in the Greta. No, stop it. I love that. Hey, Dabovess. Hey, hey Dabovess, John. Well, the great things about the Joey C and the um, Stuttering John voices is that it gives them that soft or that um, false sense of like confidence that they have. Right. But it, but it even like amplifies it. <laughs> Like it knows that they have like they're very confident when they speak, but you can tell it's like very like who gives a shit confidence. Uh, no, J uh, JT, I'm going to uh, shut the calls down. So thank you, um, thank you for doing that, bud. But uh, I don't think Ray's going to call back, and then we have to get Big Black to call back. So it's not it's not worth it. So I'm going to shut down the calls. Yeah, thank try you. Try getting those people to do anything. Yes, exactly. But uh, thank you, JC, or JT. I called you JC. Oh, shit. Uh, but thank you. I appreciate it. you uh, screening calls. That's the great JT, leader of the uh, Kinky Loco Network Discord, which is actually the uh, combined bedabbler Cardiff Electric Kinky Loco channel Discord. Yes, uh, JT says your mom's box. Your mom's box, JT. Forever your mom's box. No, John's mom's box. And that sound means the end of the calls. But thank you very much, everybody. We definitely hit the goal. We're already 23 minutes into overtime. We're going to do some more overtime. Good job, JC. I fucked up, okay? I said his name wrong. But no, I love JT. He's a uh, beloved chatter and a uh, super, super help in everything we do. For sure. Uh, before uh, we do our last uh, topic, our last person of interest. Well, did we just do, or do we have more super chats or is that it? Yeah, we do. Oh, we do? Okay. Well, yeah, let's finish these up. And then we're going to do Michaela Summer Baruth. <gasps> do you remember that name? Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. The singer. Yes, the singer. I have to find, I think I have her old song. Which I definitely have to find. Oh, yes. I do have it. Yes. 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 Okay. So we'll play that to remind everyone who Michaela Summer Baruth is. Bossman Jack is back on kick. He came back yesterday. Bossman Jack is back to gambling. 
Dr. St- on kick live streaming is gambling. Dr. Steve even uh, sent me an email. He's like, oh, he's back. He's back. <laughs> I was like, yes, Dr. Steve. You got to watch boss, man. He's back. Like, yes. <laughs> Luis Ortiz, thank you for the $2. I don't know. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Fire Ralph want Cardiff. Fantastic. <laughs> I don't know about that. Raggedy Man, $2. So you helped Jared from Subway destroy evidence. Yes. Yes, I did. And I would do it again. I would do it again. Hey, I would help him. He seemed like a nice guy, you know? He was like, hey, can you throw this bag of bloody underoos out in some kind of public trash can where no one sees you? Thanks. I'd really appreciate that. Tim Dransky, member for three months. Did KB's... Oh, God. I'm not reading that out. (laughs) Did KB's wife give him herpes? The herpes? Maybe. You never know. It could be a canker sore. Oh, wait, no. Are canker sores outside like that? I don't know. Can- Sometimes. No, canker sores are in your mouth. They are in your mouth, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's what I had. Herpes. I, always thought, I always thought that was a form of herpes, but Dr. Steve, I guess, says it's not. Yeah, he's a terrible doctor, sir. It's herpes. It stinks. He's only good at killing people. I want to be a doctor like that. I want to be a hospice doctor. All you have to do is make sure your patients die. Like literally, right? Isn't that the whole point? Yeah, the bad doctors have too many patients in that industry. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Luis Ortiz, another $2. Thank you. OJ channel this Sunday at 7, Cardiff and Tukey. If they're awake. Yes, if we're awake. I'm really bad. I'm sorry. 7 a.m. on a Sunday. I do not blame anybody for not getting up that early. Sunday is literally the only day I can sleep in, and uh, I've been definitely taking advantage of it. Eclipse Melendez, John's grandson, member for two months, flown one million plus miles and zero bed bugs. That's fantastic. Good for you. Yeah, I've never had uh, that is wonderful ever in my life. No, you shouldn't. I mean, I, I'm glad. Fleas. We I had a, we had fleas real bad uh, when I was living with my buddies in our basement of our house. But that was that's about it. Were you bragging? Mm-hmm. No, I'm just trying to think of something that's equivalent to bed bugs. They just had a bunch of bass players with socks on their dicks, <laughs> all in the basement, making a bunch of noise and warming their head all around. Hacka hacka, fleas. Get it. I got it, sir. Stink. Red 473, $2. Ray's call is showing how badly he needs sex ed. Yes. I agree. I agree. My lost interest, $2. $400 for a new windshield, $30 to fix the tire. (laughs) It's amazing. Wait, but he doesn't have windshield insurance? Like I, I have an insurance I, where windshield was either covered or it was like 50 bucks. I, th- I think it was like a copay kind of thing. Yeah. Never go through the insurance, sir. Right? Wait, what? For windshield or anything? Yes. For, the, for the windshield, sir. Why? Is that real? Yes, it's real, sir. Because generally what you end up paying for and added premiums later is over the over the next year or so is always more than what it would have just cost you to get the $180 windshield replaced. Is that how much it costs to just get a windshield replaced, though? 180? That just sounds low to me. Well, I think now with the cameras and stuff, it's probably... Like, if you have a Tesla, it's probably a little bit more, but... Yeah, Ray doesn't have a Tesla. For a, for a 1997 <laughs> Honda Civic, it's probably 120 bucks max. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. American <laughs> Cupcake, $5. Joey says he has a free room at the Mirage. Joey will be livid and li- live stream from Vegas. I can't believe this fat fuck Melton is doing this to me. Yeah, you're right. It's going to be fun. Oh, man. There's going to be so many streams in Vegas going on. It's going to be crazy. You're going to miss out unless you go to hackamania.com, promo code Tuki or Ray. Save 20%. Uh, yes. Sir, you, uh, Mr. Melton has sent a new, some new uh, uh, some wording for Hackamania he'd like you to use in the future. He sent okay. us a promo. Do you want me to put that up? Sure. Here we, go. Here we go. Yes, please put up <laughs> anything that the boss, Mr. Melton, Mr. Melton. When, when speaking Melton. of Hackamania, he'd like you to address it in a certain way now, sir. Okay. I'm ready. 
All right. Sorry. Hackamania, an intimate and exclusive semi-private event. Is that it? Yeah, it's promo code Tukey, sir. I should have had it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Is there a joke there? Oh, it's intimate and exclusive, sir. It's semi-private as well. It's an implication that tickets aren't selling well. It's the joke, oh, I think, sir. Very good. Love Sometimes, your joke. Sometimes OJ just <laughs> Did OJ swings make and misses. That? I knew it. OJ made that, didn't he? No. He wanted you to take the fall for him, didn't he? He made me split it. it up, sir. I knew it. Man. Protein jeans, two dollars at work. We'll watch later. Love you guys. FSJ, FKB. Love you. And I think you might be a suspect in the graffiti writing. It's the exact, that, that was the exact same phrase. She must be in the FSJ, FKB gang. <laughs> it's like a gang tag. The essence look the same. Drunk engineer, ten bucks. I joke that Doctor Steve should wear a Tuki shirt on Normal World. I flipped over there and he wore a shirt and tie in studio, but they made an eclipse video yesterday. And what do I see? But a TWO shirt. Yep. Dr. Steve was in a Tukey world order shirt uh, for the eclipse yesterday for one of uh, normal world's world's videos. Thank you so much, Dr. Steve. We love you more than a friend. And thank you drunk engineer for the 10 bucks. <laughs> Stupid. Don, $2. The big news is stuttering John's third kid turned. <gasps> John, congratulations. He hit for the LGBTQ plus A cycle. LGBTQI. So maybe, yeah, so he's got two girls again. No. Two girls. Not necessarily. Well, he turned. That is the turn. There you go. Well, just because you suck a dick does not make you a girl. That's make you a dick sucker, though. Right, Ray? Oh, wait, what? Oh, yes, it does make you a dick sucker. Ozone, five bucks. When Joey says he is a podcasting peer of yours, does it cause you to question all of your life decisions? <laughs> yes. Well, no, I mean, yes, Joey, we are peers. We are peers. I, I mean, yeah, I guess we are. I mean, just because, I mean, can't you say that? No, I guess you can't. No, we are not peers, Joey. <laughs> you stink. No, you are fantastic, Joey. I mean, if, if you're looking from the top of the podcasting universe. Yes. The top of the universe. You know, it's, I mean, we might be little slightly bigger ants than Joey from Joe <laughs> Rogan's perspective. Yes. But we're still ants, sir. From the top of Joe Rogan's tiny little shoulders, we all look so tiny. But a slightly bigger than Joey. We're like the bigger like bed bugs of the of the bed bugs. Yes, exactly. Ozone five bucks. Okay, seriously, is this Joey C to Hackamania make a wish thing? What the fuck are you guys doing? All right. No, I mean I'm just. I said I would promote uh, Joey C's fundraiser because last show Cardiff and OJ made fun of Mrs. C so much. What? I felt like it was personally my responsibility. Shut up. I felt like it was personally my responsibility <laughs> to reach out and offer to at least help with the services of trying to get him to grift all of you. Since I am so good at it, I figured I would try and help Joey out. Like, look at this. I got another $2 from Jay Wolfenstein just to say, will you say, shut up, Jay, please? Shut up, Jay. See, I just got two bucks for that. Mm -hmm. Who better to teach Joey C how to grift than Tukey? Mm -hmm. But uh, but no, I, I have gotten some angry uh, messages from people. How could you help that criminal? Uh, he's going to use it to give his wife a face transplant. Mm -hmm. uh, you're all terrible people, especially Tukey. Uh, and Joey C's an idiot. Uh-oh, speaking of which... Message. Spy report. Spy report. <clears throat> Press B. Here we go. How could you do the work and tell everyone about the work when you don't even work? You are a work. Stop giving out the work and go to work. Oh, yeah. Cardiff eats alien ass. OJ is cool. Tukey sucks. 
Rocco lick balls and Kinky Loco is a bitch. Wow. Well put. I think that's a haku. Was that yeah, one? Right. Haku, sir. A haku? <laughs> one of those haku poems? It's haku, fantastic. haku. Oh, I'm exhausted from reading all your money. Yay! Well, we're just about caught up. Fantastic. Chuckle Patch, 199. Tukey Cardiff, OJ. Best threesome. TSN has jumped the shark. Yeah, does anyone know any of the real story of what's happening over there? Why they stopped doing the morning show? Is Shuli's channel demonetized or is it? I never even bothered to look. No, it's monetized. But Bob, I don't know. I know Bob is doing his own morning thing now. I don't know if that's because. I don't know if that's because they're not doing the BS show in the morning or they're not doing the BS show in the morning because Bob's doing yeah, it's all it's all just speculation right now. But yeah, they moved their show from the morning to the afternoons. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hugh Jassel, five bucks. My wife is going on an all girls trip during Hackamania. She says I can't go to Vegas without her. And who the fuck is Tukey? What says you, Tukey? Leave that bitch. We are your family now, Hugh. We will treat you with the respect that you deserve. And we'll also probably call you a homo for leaving your wife to come to Hackamania. Sure. He may have the biggest uh, prostate if he does go to Hackamania. Oh, yeah. We're going to have the biggest prostate contest. Come on over. Yes, you jassel. You could sure. be a winner. Imagine if you come home with the $25 grand prize. Yes, Ralph. Sure. I, can I propose a win-win scenario for our pal? You uh, jassel. 10-10 wins? Yes, win, win, win. Yes, a win, win, sir. Uh, Vegas is a great place for a girls' trip, sir. <gasps> yes, you should tell your wife to get all her girls together and say, "Hey, instead of going to the Caribbean, how about we go to Vegas for three days to hang out with people who are going to talk about things we have no idea what they're talking about? Other podcasts. It's going to be fantastic." Mm -hmm. That is a good idea. And luckily, there'll be so much extra room at the venue, they could probably do yoga there. So yes. that's what girls do on girls' trips. Is that what Yoga and scissor. Yes. <laughs> I, assume. Oh, I have no jokes. <laughs> Kelly Riddle. Neither do I, sir. <laughs> yes, I know. No, you all, you pulled out the, the scissoring. I don't know where you go with yoga and scissors, though, really. It's just what girls do, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> They stretch and then they scissor. I right? they do when guys aren't around. Yeah, they find as much yoga, yogurt, wait, no yoga as possible. Where they do as much yoga as possible mm -hmm. and they scissor. Yeah, there you go. And pillow fights, of course. Pillow fights. Thank that, you. Steve. That goes low. But guys do that too. That's guy stuff. That's guy <laughs> stuff. Kelly Riddle, two dollars. Ray Devito sold me fentanyl behind Target. No, he did not. <laughs> where would Ray get fentanyl from? Stevie. From Stevie Lou? Possibly. I don't know. How dare you? He did say he was a drug dealer. I don't I mean. He's the pharmacist of the Dabbleverse. That's how we consider him. Pfizer's the real <laughs> drug dealer, man. Yeah. Yeah, Stevie, why don't you go to, like, pharmacy school? Probably to be, do pretty good there. Those, get, those guys make bank. You don't even have to worry about killing anyone like Dr. Death. Teddy, 199, you got to stop it. They drop pig blood on Ray, then what? You got to stop it. They drop pig blood on Ray, and then what? Oh, oh yeah, we should do that to Ray. Get a big bucket of red pig blood and dump it on him right when he starts. Or, or slime right... him or something, you know? Yes, right when he ends his podcast. Is Hackman, you're going to steal all my ideas? Yes. Yes! Billy Detroit, $2. Will you say, hi, Frenchie? Yeah! Hi, Frenchie. Yay! I think it's Francie, Tukey. Oh, I stink. <laughs> Hi, Francie. Yay! <laughs> Should I do it again? Yeah, maybe one more time. Hi, Francie. Yay! What if, it, <laughs> what if it's Francie? Hi, yeah, Francie. Yay! <laughs> this is not a show. What is this? It's ridiculous. 
Teddy, again, could you bet Paulo on Life's a movie? Could you bet Paulo on Life's a movie? Gee, gee, gee. Uh, could you uh, bet Paulo on Life's a movie? I don't know what you mean, bet him. But yes, Paulo, your Life's a movie. I have reached out to Paulo. Paulo was a good friend of the Ron and Fez show, was part of the show when they were down in Florida as Ron and Ron. Sir. What's that? I was going to ask, sir. Yes, and Paulo was their mu- uh, movie reviewer. And he also had a fucking out of it, her mind wife who uh, was an amazing part of the Ron and Fez show. She uh, died in 2007. And honestly, Paulo has kind of just disappeared. I-, I-, I keep tweeting him, asking him if he wants to review movies here. Um, and he has not answered me. I don't think he has any uh, interest. But uh, So you have tried to get yes. Paulo. Yes, and Paulo would be great. He's, he's a very... He's also the guy who tried to make a movie. He tried to make his own horror movie, and he blames Louis C.K. for its uh, for its failure because Louis C.K. went on Opie and Anthony and basically said that was the biggest piece of shit movie I've ever seen. It was basically people who use their phone. There was never there wasn't even a, like a resemblance of a real movie. It was just garbage. Right before his stupid movie came out, and he was like, "Oh, this is not good." Louis C.K. just shitting all over my movie before it even comes out. Yeah. But I have also... The movie is called Gap. Not The Gap, like the store. But it's called Gap. I believe you can see it on YouTube. The Harry Jane story? Yes. Yes, starring Harry Jane as The Gap. Uh, but no, uh, I have never actually watched the whole movie. Because it's so horrible. And it has like regulars from the Ron and Fez show. Which is probably why it was so horrible. But... Me being a super fan of the Ron and Fez show, I cannot even sit through the piece of shit that is Gap. Maybe we'll do that as a watch along. Maybe we'll try and do that as a Patreon uh, watch along movie because I really do like the idea of doing uh, those watch along things. So we have to figure out something and do yeah. that. What not chaser five dollars? I felt charitable and donated fifteen pounds of meth to the Catalano family to help them find motivation to get out of bed and find jobs oh that's fantastic that'd be fantastic i'm sure they will uh be very thankful that you donated 15 pounds of meth (laughs) it's ridiculous i don't know if that would help them to motivate them to get out of bed and find jobs but i guess it's not that counts probably motivate them to get out of bed be all methed out you don't really want to be in bed right when you're on meth no. Yeah, I don't know. Me neither. <laughs> Gordon Shumway. Shumway? Gordon Shumway, member for one month. Love you more than a friend. FSJ. Love you more than a friend, Gordon. Like that. Uh, the, uh, the picture. Great picture. Yes. Fantastic avatar. It looks avatar. like Dr. Steve's shirt. Billy Detroit, $5. Tukey Taliban needs you back in Detroit. TWO. Tell Cardiff. Or no, not Cardiff. Carl. Tell Carl. I'm sure we'll be back in Detroit uh, in no time. It seems like, is that a yearly thing? It it almost was. Right. Kind of September and September, but I doubt. I doubt we'll they'll be September going in again. September if DabbleCon is in August. August, right? yeah. But who knows? Who knows? Stay tuned. And it's the Drew and Mike show, OJ. Yes, thank you. I was, thank you. I was yelling at Spotify. <laughs> <laughs> Spotify. Yeah. Oh, you didn't know. No, I don't know. Mm. Carlos Danger stole your audio and uploaded it to Spotify. Yay! <laughs> Sweet. I did give him permission to pull some clips, but that's fine. Detective Blore, two dollars. I love Tuki more than I hate sickos tubes. T W U. Tuki love- World Universe? No, that wouldn't work. Tuki World University. Yes, we're starting the Tuki College. Even now, you can be your own Tuki in your hometown. Just go to Tuki College. It's fantastic. Muppet Babies are just cartoons. Gonzo is real, just like Tuki. Yay! Yay! It's fantastic. We're doing it. All right. Uh... God damn it, it's late. 
All right, let's just get through this real quick. Michaela Summer Baruth. She was a chick that we started talking about on, I think, Bedabbling Live. And we haven't talked about her in a, lot, a while because she kind of does the Ray DeVito method of videos where she'll do like a live stream and then she'll just take it down immediately. So you can't watch it unless you fucking watch it live. I hate this. Everyone keeps doing these. It's driving me nuts. But anyway, she was back on the other day. And uh, before I get to that, this was the first thing we saw of her. This is her music video for Opposite Side, which is a song that I actually get stuck in my head sometimes because it's so bad, it's so wonderful. I don't have the music video. Video is great, too. She took it down. Like I said, they take everything down. You have me on the opposite side of the heaven. You are times. You have me on the same dumb side of the hell you put me through. But you see, but you see what I mean, what I mean. You don't, you don't care about me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. The DRWC show, is that what she looks like now? No. So the other thing is she puts up a lot of videos when she was like 16. Jeez. Are you okay? Are you I am. Over? I'm sorry. That's the second time that happened tonight. Sorry about that. Uh, but yeah, she puts up a lot of videos and pictures from when she was 16, which is, or or maybe, maybe a little older. Maybe she's 18. I don't know. But she puts up a lot of videos from when she was not so big. How old is she now about? Uh, she's got to no? be like in her mid-20s. Okay. Maybe early 30s. But uh, let me just give you a little bit. Let's just get to the hook of this uh, this uh, banger, as uh, Steve Morton is calling it. All right, you get the idea. She stinks. <laughs> her music stinks. But we've covered her before, and she has lived a crazy life. Um, I think she's she's uh, been in jail before. I think she even explains uh, that she uh, has trouble finding jobs now because she took the blame for some other person's drug or something. She she took she claims that she took the blame for someone else's drugs. So it really fucked up her life. She lives with her parents who seem to have money. She lives in a really nice house, I believe in Kansas. Um she has like a new boyfriend every month. Uh I believe one of the stories she told us was about how her and her boyfriend ended up at some kind of Native American reservation. Oh yeah. And like one of the women at the reservation wanted to like kill her because she thought that she was trying to hit on the Native American's man or something that's like that. They were homeless, sir. Or they were homeless. Yeah, that's what it was. Yeah, she always has some kind of issue. It's always it's always something. There's always something going around around. But she actually does have like her mom and dad. And like I said, she lives in a nice house. So it just goes to show that it doesn't matter sometimes what you do as a parent. Even if you stay together, your kids will still be fucked up. But again, I know nothing about her parents. But I always feel bad for the parents when they always have these older live streamers in their house. And they always have to, like, make everything. Everything they do every day has to be streamed. And the imagine parents... if she was married to Boss Man Jax. Or... Oh, yes. Oh, that would be a disaster. It really would. Because that's the other thing. And you'll see in these clips, Michaela wants so much to be loved. She just wants love. She just wants to find love. So, what better way to start finding love than to find some really short skirts to hike up your big fat ass? And also... That's what OJ does, sir. Yes, he does. <laughs> but also, not stop there, but let's get a belly shirt that is way too small for your big fat belly. Like you're a Puerto Rican girl getting ready to go to the Puerto Rican parade. Yay! Hey guys, so I'm going to show you guys this outfit. I put the hot and psychotic. I love this shit. 
but it's true. So if you guys don't know, I'm trying to lose weight, Blah. but some people say I don't need to, but I think I do. No, you need to. But anyway, camel toe. I some of those love people are lying. This outfit. Oh my goodness, it's so cute. So this is what I'm gonna be wearing to clean my room and go to Derek's today. He's gonna love this shirt. Oh my god. So <laughs> I don't know why I did that. So her new boyfriend is named Derek. I've never seen Derek before, but again, like I missed some of her shows because she takes them down right after she does them a lot of times. Because I don't know if she's embarrassed or there's something in there. You know, it's the whole, it's the Ray DeVito model. Of I wonder if her boyfriend's show. from Texas, sir. Derek from Texas. Mm -hmm. I don't know. We'll find out. Seven foot? Yes. <laughs> no, he's not seven foot. He's about as successful as Derek from Texas. I'll tell you that. Hi, guys. <laughs> I look retarded. <laughs> it's because you just woke up. But no, you don't look retarded. You just look have messy hair. So notice, just uh, pay attention to Derek and uh, just how much he's into this relationship as these clips keep going. And and just notice the, the contrast between her... Uh, enthusiasm for the relationship it's very telling he's so cute guys i love him so much he's the love of my life <laughs> i'm not cute yes you are <laughs> my eyes are even crossed huh? I, I can't even blame it on your camera my eyes are crossed no they're not oh <laughs> cutest guy ever <laughs> part of accepted my challenge for hackamania at the ketchup stand yet I won't be at Hackamania long. I'm driving 20 hours to get there, do the fight, then drive back another 20 hours. Hash win. Cardiff, do you <laughs> care to answer Chad Zumach? Could probably meet you a little easier on the East Coast somewhere. <laughs> I'm playing again. You could probably do something in Georgia. My challenge for Hackamania at the ketchup stand yet? I won't be at Hackamania long. I'm driving 20 hours to get there, do the fight, then drive back another 20 hours. Hash win. Yes, we will be having a ketchup stand. At Hackamania Ketchup Taste Test booth, right next to the Apple Tasting booth. It's fantastic. We weren't going to kill that surprise, but or we weren't going to, uh, you know, unleash that news. Hackamania, an intimate and exclusive semi-private event. It's fantastic. But yes, uh, Chad spilled the beans. He's so excited about our ketchup stand that now I feel obligated mm -hmm. to push it. All right, back to these... Uh, Two idiots. Oh my god, stop! That's creepy. <laughs> You're so cute. I'm not cute. Yes, you are. <laughs> Look at my eyeball popping out of my head. <laughs> stop! Ugh. Yeah, that's pretty gross. Disgusting. But no, she's... Uh, so here is where we start to find out that there might be some trouble in paradise. Mm. <laughs> Reminds me of Uncle Ruckus. <laughs> what the fuck? You ever seen the boondocks? No. Oh, it's a cartoon. It's a funny cartoon, though. Like, it's an adult cartoon. Oh. You see that? That's the first time that Derek smiled during this whole interaction when he mentioned cartoons it's an adult cartoon though well yeah but it's still a cartoon <laughs> just keep that in mind derek loves cartoons i don't like cartoons they're creepy uh oh michaela just revealed to him that she does not like cartoons they're creepy Will this relationship last? Really? This I've one's always, really funny. I've like, always thought cartoons were creepy. When I was a kid, I was really afraid of Snow White. <laughs> this guy's good. He is good. Physical comedy is his specialty. He is good. Yes, he makes faces. Is that you, Cardiff? He went to the... Uh, it, 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 might, it, it might be Cardiff, but it's <laughs> definitely a dabbler. If I've seen one dabbler, I've seen them all, and he is a dabbler, sir. Right? He does look like he would fit in at Hackamania. He looks like all the other chubby neckbeards mm -hmm. 
that will buy tickets at hackamania.com, promo code Tukey. All right, here is just another uh, example of Michaela wanting love so bad. Articulate John says Shrek and Fiona. Yes. Michaela also has a fine yellowish tint to her teeth. Her teeth always look very placky. That's something we always found. Rock Bottom Podcast with Ray DeVito. I'm a Derek fan. He's cute. He's a good looking guy. Yeah, he's adorable. Maybe, maybe he would like me more if I gave him a gold chain. I have an extra one. <laughs> All right. So here is uh Michaela saying those three dreaded words Derek obviously doesn't want to hear. Eat my ass. Yes. <laughs> I'm Uncle Ruckus. <laughs> And if anybody out there on YouTube knows who Uncle Ruckus is, please explain it to this young lady. <laughs> so it's a cute. psycho. Mm -hmm. I love you. That's nice. Mm -hmm. So she says, I love you. He completely ignores it and starts to pretend, I guess, to be asleep. I don't know. But he does not want to hear, I love you. Or, I mean, he's definitely not going to say it back. She wants, oh, so much, oh, so much to hear those words. I love you. I love you, Michaela. But, alas, it is not going to come from Derek. And Derek shows his concerns. And maybe this is why Derek just can't say, I love you back. Baby boy. Oh, I love you so much. So what do you do to relax? And what and you like lay down and watch a movie? Like what do you watch? So Derek is very confused by this. He says, What do you do to relax? Like when you lay down, what do you watch? I'm so confused. You don't put on children's cartoons to relax? What is happening? Who are you? Uh Porn? lifetime. <laughs> You're so boring. Ah, You're like an old baby. Some I catch it. Why are you should be so boring? I don't know. I like Lifetime movies. But I also like romance. I don't have a whole lifetime to watch a movie I like romance better. and drama the most. And Lifetime is just perfect for that. So she likes Lifetime movies. Now, I don't remember the last time I watched a Lifetime movie, but... I do. Really? What was the last Lifetime movie you watched? It was actually, uh, yeah, when I was a kid, I was telling... Moody, the other day, it was uh, Sally Fields. Not without my daughter? Not without my daughter. Oh, shit. I saw yeah. that. Dr. Octopus was in that. Yeah, that was the, the husband's name was Moody. Oh, you're right. Yeah. It was Moody. And then he had those mechanical octopus arms, and he defeated Spider-Man <laughs> in the nuclear <laughs> nuclon accelerator or whatever. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, I, they made Those us watch nerds. that in, like, fourth grade. Yeah, but I I was telling you guys I made a, a I made a video bit out of it. I made a, a character called Moody, Iran's coolest man. Oh, always, yeah. So whenever I heard Moody's name for the first time over at NLO, I was like, oh my god, that's fantastic. Yeah. Here is Derek trying to get to the bottom of this whole not liking cartoon things. Wait, 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 wait. You mean you don't like the Ninja Turtles, Michaela? What the fuck are you watching? Ninja Turtles. Oh my lord. <laughs> you don't like cartoons, so this is never gonna work. That's why we have to break up. <laughs> I'm gonna slap the Daffy Duck out of this trick. <laughs> Ugh. Oh uh, yeah. That's white trash love. That's what nightmares are made of. I'm starting to think she doesn't have her grown-up teeth yet, sir. Oh shit! I gotta go back to that. Really? Let me see. I'm, I'm really like they—they they look like they're still her baby teeth. Uh, they're they weird. Look like, they look like Baba uh, Booey's teeth. There's something weird about them. Duck out of this trick. <laughs> oh, she gotta move her hand. No, she got big buck teeth. Actually, <laughs> pretty big, and they're just oh. like. Stained. You don't like cartoons, yellow. so this. 
It's never gonna work. That's why we have to break up. <laughs> I'm gonna slap the Daffy Duck out of this trick. <laughs> oh, Umat oh. says she's about to go. Uh, she's about to get Elisa Jordan and uh, or go. I, I can't watch. It. I can't look at it. She's about. <laughs> She just about got Elisa Jordana. Sorry. I couldn't see one of the words because of the play button on my stupid thing. Uh Ray is texting me. He's getting he's been banned. He's not too happy. Oh, they banned me. See? Don't get so offended when you get banned from my chat. The moderators do it to everyone, even celebrities like the great Ray DeVito. Ray, you have been banned. <laughs> You have joined. I think, the, so, so I think wait. Gino got banned too. I haven't. I haven't seen him in a while. The, the Rock Bottom podcast in YouTube that posts things that we think Ray is so dumb he would actually say. Yes, is actually Ray Devito. Yes. Okay. You didn't know that? No, I thought it was a fake. <laughs> no, it's always him. <laughs> uh all right now. Two days later. Hey guys, so it's been a couple days. I have some news. Derek dumped me for the last time. Hey you guys. guys don't exactly know what has ever really truly gone on in our relationship. And it's uh -oh. something I don't want to share right now. Because uh -oh. it's really Hetcha. awful. There's this man was the love of her life two days before this. What the fuck did he do in these two days? Some things I found out about him that... Uh oh He's in the hensha. ...are disturbing. The He's into what? Is that how you call it? Oh, hensha? Isn't that what it's called? Am I pronouncing it correctly? Are you talking about Nambla? No, no. It's like the uh, the cartoon porn. Hentai? Oh, hentai. hentai. Maybe. That's what it is. Yeah, I don't even know how to pronounce it. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Hentia. <laughs> yes, hentai. Uh, I actually believe based off. Disturbing. You know that girl disturbing. that sang the Friday song? He's been sending her money. Yes, Rebecca Black. Friday, Friday. Got to get down on Friday. I found out about him that are disturbing. Yeah, he likes to watch the Ninja Turtles and other cartoons. And he's a brony. Polar bear. Yes, maybe he's a, a brony. Derek is a furry. Possibly. Jive turkey. I don't know. That I actually believe, based off my experience with him myself, there are stories and stories. And he is filled with so many lies. What I believe is that he's a monster. And I've oh. never thought I would ever say this out loud, but I really don't think he's a good person. My dad never thought he was a good person. I don't know if my mom ever did, but my dad, whenever he first walked into this house, my dad's like, I have a funny feeling about him. Mm -hmm. I should have listened. So me and Derek are officially done. I know oh. I said that before. Very sad. But this time I really, really, really mean it. Whatever, Stevie Lou. We believe you. <laughs> and honestly, I thought I did love him. I didn't love him. I loved the idea of having a relationship. I loved the she idea loved of who I thought he was. He was never that person. Hmm. I thought he was a good guy. Can you send his me this family video, and friends sir? may think he's a good guy. What? May Can you send me this video, sir? Of course. Why? So I think I want to remix it in like some sappy Taylor Swift breakup song. Sure. <laughs> it might take me a while. Yes, I'll send it. It'll be fantastic. All right. So that is uh, her breaking or Derek broke up with her. Poor Michaela. She just wants someone to love. I if mean, only can you, that. Can you blame what? him though? Could you? I mean, she's not into no. cartoons. She's not you into know. anything fun. She wants to watch Lifetime. I also want to know how long they were dating. She never said that because like that whole like, <laughs> you're the cutest thing. I love you. <laughs> you're the love of my life. Like, I'd be like, oh, get this fucking, get this thing away from me. Gonna grow. Gonna grow on me. 
gonna I'm gonna be like a host. This is gonna attach to me. Um all right. Now I know we're all wondering the same thing, and Michaela will address what we are all wondering right now. You're probably wondering how am I dealing with this? Mm -hmm. I'm okay. Oh. And I don't know how I'm okay because old me would have been killing myself by now. Jesus. Old me would have been dead or tried to be because I thought a while ago. Wait, did people tell you to kill yourself just like they told Ray DeVito? Kinky Loco. Yes. Did Kinky Loco sick his goons on Michaela Summer Baruth as well? Or Bareth? How do you say her stupid name? It's B-A-R-U-T-H. Baruth seems like it would sound right. I thought Baruth too, right? I don't know. But yes, she would have normally been killing herself right now. She wouldn't have killed herself. She'd still be in the act of killing herself. It sounds painful. Since my last suicide attempt, I've committed suicide. I've tried committing suicide so many times for guys, and none have succeeded. Uh, loser! <laughs> loser! I think that's a sign. You guys know- Yeah, you stink at killing yourself. That's about the only sign, and that you're batshit crazy. I heard you, wanna, she puts, you may want to tone down the encouragement, sir. Oh, yeah, that's right. Well, I heard she puts the hot in psychotic. I heard that somewhere. I've been talking about God and stuff and me being an OnlyFans model. OnlyFans model. Yeah, model in uh, quotation marks. I think she put oh, OnlyFans in the quotation marks. I think the model should be in the uh, quotation mark. And me like questioning that stuff. But each day I feel like in a way I'm growing closer to something that I never thought existed. Maximum obesity. Which is God. It's oh. crazy. I believe I've in seen God. a lot of demons in my life. I believe Whether in they God. were demons and people or demons in general or spirits. And that was just Dr. Steve. He was just telling you, oh, Michaela, go into the light. Demons and shit like that. And if there's demons in life. Mm -hmm. And if so many people are talking about how they've seen. Have you ever seen Stevie Lou in person? Oh my God, you will definitely believe in demons. My God, Skeletor brought to life. It's like CV Lou just needs some kind of scepter with like a big spike at the end of it. It's too soon for cartoon talk, sir. And guarding like some kind of lava pit with skulls all around. <laughs> That's what Stevie Douche should Stevie do. Stevie Douche. That's like what the, Stevie Lou should do. He's like the final boss of level one. Yes, yes. He's like Glass <laughs> Joe, but he looks scary. <laughs> Seen angels save their life. And an angel once was in my room telling me it was going to be okay. okay that was your uncle dad. Phillip. Wait, what? Your Uncle Philip? What did you just say? An angel told me came into my room at night and told me everything was going to be okay. He turned out to be my Uncle Philip. And... An angel once was in my room telling me it was going to be okay, including my Uncle Philip. What? What? Yeah, I don't know what that, I don't know. Was there a cut? Is that just a bad edit? And an angel once was in my room telling me it was going to be okay, including my Uncle Philip. Maybe regarding her Uncle Philip? I'm, her Uncle I'm watching Philip the maybe. shadow. There's no cut. No, it didn't. Like she's kind of stuttered. That's why I thought it was a cut. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know what she's talking about. Maybe her uncle Philip was dying, and an angel came and said, "Don't worry, Michaela. Uncle Phil is going to be okay." He said he just wants you to start an OnlyFans so he can see it. Bye. Um. Or again, it was Doctor. What's that? Nothing. Don't smell his fingers. Uh, I'm sorry. I talk over you. I do it all the time. All right, here's the last clip. This is the last clip of the night. Ba -ba -da -ba 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 -ba. Will Michaela choose God or showing strangers her coos? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what will Michaela 
decide. Then. Wh- Have you never heard coups before? Well, no, it's just the choices. Oh, yes. Well, this is the choice. The- <laughs> Listen, we all have choices in life, OJ. <laughs> why can't I start Bleach? But also, why do I do OnlyFans? Why am I that desperate for money? I'm asking the same thing because you are a bigum. That I don't have. Because my parents literally, they have money. Look at the house I live in. They have money. They have money. But I don't. don't Whoa, they have a living room and a kitchen? Ray DeVito is going to be jealous. I want my own financial freedom. I want to buy things. I want to do this. I want to do that. But I've been trying and trying since I was an adult to support myself in those ways. And it's like, because I'm a felon, because I've took a dope charge for somebody. It's like nobody wants to hire me. And so I get desperate and desperate. I want to work hard. I want to get money no matter what it takes. So I do OnlyFans. And I don't even like doing OnlyFans. And I'm to the point where I'm like, what do I choose? Do I choose the future of God? God. I believe in God. To be with him? Or do I choose... Nude? This lifestyle, this temporary lifestyle, instead of something everlasting. I need to force myself to stop doing OnlyFans, but it's like a habit. Money's like a habit for me that I need to stop. If I don't have money, I don't have money, so be it. That's what I need to think about and pray about, honestly. Because this is like uh, Chad. Because my parents literally. This would be like Chad if he had the option to do OnlyFans. Oh God! But since, but since he only has the option to live stream, we're forced to watch him live stream every day, instead of just, you know, putting some nudie pictures of himself up there. Like if Chad was a chick, he'd totally be doing OnlyFans for sure. I need to force myself to stop doing OnlyFans, but it's like a habit. Money is like a habit for me that I need to stop. If I don't have money, I don't have money, so be it. That's what Where else I is she going to get $6 a month? For. Well, yeah, right? How much could she possibly be making in OnlyFans? Nothing. I mean, come on. What are we, what are we talking about here? And pray about, honestly. Because. Well, I guess there's a possibility of getting $2 million. On oh, OnlyFans, might as well take a shot. You never know. Things I do out of spite, for example, dyeing my hair magenta or red originally. It's pretty and stuff. It just. It's beautiful. I like the blonde better. <laughs> no. I want to go back to blonde eventually um, as soon as I can. But looks like you, you temporarily use your that. hair Stuff as like a tampon. That. Um, or unless my mom will do it again, I don't know. But oh, I thought it froze, know, guys. There's just a lot going on. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Poor Michaela, wow. she's a mess. But we do want Michaela to know that we here at Tuki Soup love you. Because I think you need to hear that. Tuki loves you more than a friend, Michaela. It's fantastic. That's a little update on the nice. great Michaela. Yeah, it's been a while. Baruth. Yes, it has been a while. Also, Nick Bravo. Maybe we'll talk about him on Saturday. He's been literally doing nothing. There's a video that just came out like two weeks ago where he pretty much he pretty much leaves off right where we left him off. Like, remember, he was uh, he ran away with that uh, that girl. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And they were running away from uh, her roommates. And one of her roommates was really mean. And they even thought at some point, now they think that one of her roommates could have even been involved with a murder. Oh. Dun, dun, dun. So maybe we'll do that on Saturday. Nick Bravo. That would be another awesome voice. I did hear have. a rumor that he's in what? Texas. Uh, right that's possible. 
Yes. Because they were in uh, Nebraska, but it's very possible. I thought I got, a, I got it from a pretty good source. Really? Okay, we'll yes. have to look into that. But, uh, yeah, so uh, that's about it. We still have, we have a couple of super tips to go to super chats too. You have super chats. All right, let me play Just this. A couple. Did you know Carlos Danger was caught blocking the sun on Monday? Anyways, is that a hooker on I eighty? I'll be back. Oh, Ray is very busy. Ray has a lot of things to do. Thank you, Ray. <laughs> Thank you, Apar, for your generous super tip. And uh, yeah, let's catch up on the super chats. Yeah, let's couple. go to bed. Fantastic. Detective Bloor, 199. I love Tukey more than I hate sickos, tubes, TWU. Yeah, we didn't know what TWU meant. But thank you, Detective Bloor. Uh, Ted E, 499. Gap had no editing. Maybe get Billy Staples from Ron and Fez W N E W days. I can't believe Billy Staples is still alive. Get Billy on. Billy has such a bad criminal record. He makes Chad look like a choir boy. Yes. Billy Staples was a uh, producer of the Ron and Fez show. He was a mess. If you look up Ron and Fez, Orange Ball of Failure, there's a long, uh, a long video of that about how Billy opened up for Jim Norton in Red Bank, and he totally bombed. And uh, there was a fantastic saga of the Ron and Fez WNEW days. Orange Ball of Failure, Ron and Fez. You will not be disappointed. It's fantastic. Is that it? That's it. Fantastic. We're doing it. We did it. We're doing it, and we did it. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you all. I want to thank everyone uh, who contributes to the show, everyone who sent in T-shirt designs, Gummy Chainsaw, Dang Lizard, Franklin Sheckler, all you guys who have been sending me bits lately. I really appreciate everything, seriously. Um, and I appreciate all the uh, – the su everyone trying out the Super Tip system, uh, gifting memberships, buying memberships, just all the generosity – in general, uh, it's really great, and uh, I really appreciate it. And uh, be sure to go follow my good friends at Cardiff Electric on YouTube and at Obnoxious John, at Obnoxious John on Twitter, and at Cardiff Elect on Twitter, and also patreon.com slash Cardiff Electric. Oh, don't forget to thank Joey C for everything he's done for you. No, yes. no, 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 JC, JC, JC. Yeah, the, he was operating your phones tonight. Oh, God damn it. I fuck everything up. You're right. JC, JT, thank you for everything. Thank you for the Discord uh, running and for screening my calls. Thank you to the beautiful Dr. Steve, who is uh, still looking up at the eclipse, I guess, to make sure he gets, you know, it's worth his time. <laughs> Isn't that insa insane? All these people who traveled. He missed it the minutes. first time. He's waiting for it to come back around, sir. Yes. Dr. Steve actually had to, oh, I have to go run and take a piss. Do you think I have time? Oh, you sons of bitches. I missed it. I got to tell you, Tukey, though. I, I, I thought the same thing. Like, what are all these idiots doing traveling? But it really was cool. It, it, was, it was an experience of a lifetime. Why, you saw it? I did. Was, uh, where, it was where, awesome. Was it like full-blown yeah. AIDS where you were? It was full blown AIDS where I was. yeah, the Cle it lined right up in uh Cleveland. So yeah, we had a ton of people in town. Yeah, we just had uh we had like a crescent moon. It just looked like a crescent moon. It wasn't particularly but, but hey, it's it's fun. Everyone, hey, it brought everyone together for four minutes. Mm -hmm. Everyone went outside for a couple minutes. That's nice. No, nah, even in the it, Middle East, everyone held hands. Uh, it lasted uh, a couple hours, buddy. Oh, did it? Yeah. The the totality was like maybe ten minutes, mm -hmm. but it was well, it hard. was awesome. Interesting. Well, there you go, Joe or uh, John or whatever your stupid name is. OJ is now a believer. <laughs> he was an eclipse de denier, just like how Ray is an Easter denier. Mm -hmm. Ray does not believe that the day of Easter actually exists. <laughs> I got to. I was on the phone with Ray. <laughs> He was at uh, Panera, 
And some like Russian lady was talking to him in the background. I'm like, well, Ray, what's going on? And uh, she she ended up having the glasses so you could look up at the sun. And uh-huh. I, he's like, where do I get him? Where do I get him? And so they're having this big, long conversation. I'm like, Ray, just use her so you can, you know, get an idea. Ask her if you can use her glasses so you can see. So he he grabs him. He looks up. So what I got to hear on the phone was, ah, ah. wow. Why didn't he just kill her and dump her in the, in the trunk? <laughs> she had a hot around? daughter. She had a smoking oh. hot daughter, according to Ray. Interesting. Yeah. All right. We're doing right. it. We I think did it's about it. that time. I think it's about that time to go to bed. Yes. Tuki loves you all more than a friend. Thank you so much. And like I said, if you're a big fan of Hack Rides, uh, Haka Haka Boom Shakalaka Tuki, you will not be disappointed in the next couple of seconds. Hands band, five dollars. Sheet. Sheet. Right? It's like, she. She. They actually said it like the, the Tuki uh, AI. Right. She. You're right. You owe FJS. He's making a wire reference, sir. FJ. Oh, is that from the wire? I think so, sir. That was a show I did not watch. Nah, me neither. I couldn't get into you, it. You stick both. Black Sopranos. That's yeah. what it was. Yeah, I got to watch Black Sopranos after I no, watch thanks. Good Sopranos. <laughs> no, I'm, no, I'm forcing you to watch it now. Okay, I feel the same exact way. Right? No, it's such Black a good Sopranos. show. Black Sopranos. Yeah, we got it. Stink. What is it? Uh, uh, tone. <laughs> no, wait, shit. Trying to think of a black tone name. That, no, I don't know. Yeah, Tone Lo- <laughs> Tony Tone Laprano. Yeah, Tony Soprano. Tony Tony Tony. Tony Tony Tony. Thank you. You got it. That's the joke. All right, we're doing it. Thank you all so much. We'll see you on Saturday for be dabbling live. And remember, John's Bomb's box. Las Vegas, Nevada, May 31st through June 2nd. Join a bunch of juicy hogs, a bunch of Discord dorks, a bunch of pay pigs, a bunch of sad incels, a bunch of podcast nerds, a bunch of stupid puppets, a bunch of fat losers, a bunch of complete hacks. Join Nobody Likes Onions. Who are these podcasts? Tukey, Bedabler, Ray DeVito, Pat Dixon, Earl Skakel, and more. For a weekend of stand-up and live podcast in Sin City. Get your tickets now at Hackamania.com and use promo code Tuki. We're doing it. What do you think about me saying the word nigger? That doesn't bother me. Come on. Don't don't say that, Kevin. Don't say that, Kevin. Por favor. Freedom of speech. Freedom of speech. Of course he wants to say it on you. Thank you. I fought for that fucking right. Sit, Eugene, sit. Good dog. Uh, that's it.